Great news. The Drop with Frank and Brian is officially brought to you by Switch Suspension. Switch Suspension specializes in all vehicle chassis components. Lift kits, lowering kits, air ride suspension, wheels, tires, steering, and brake upgrades. They use all the best products from the best brands. And these guys are truck guys. You roll into their parking lot at the shop and they all drive custom vehicles. So they use their products that they sell on their own vehicles. So if you guys are looking for anything for your vehicles, whether you're just starting out or you just need some replacement parts or whatever, give them a call or visit their website, switchsuspension.com. show welcome to the drop with frank and brian i'm frank brian and this is our guest vic from mini truck revival how's it going are you frozen no i just, okay. I'm, <laughs> you just waited. i was like is he i don't know what's going on you like acted like you you were kind of like a little frozen no i just it's time i'm having a hard time hearing you oh okay um let's figure that out can you hear me yeah i can hear you it's just very uh it's not loud. Maybe it's me. Maybe I have to turn my mic, my thing up. Is that it? Check. Yeah, that's, there you go. that's probably oh. it. Yeah, yeah, we're okay. fine. We're fine. Yeah. Okay, we're okay cool. All right. So, <laughs> <laughs> I, love, I love how every, we're always just like on the cusp of this thing. Yeah. But anyway. It's the way it goes. But we're here. It's the way it's it goes. all you can do. Yep. So we're here. This is our guest, Vic from Mini Truck Revival, like I said before. How's it going? Um, we will just start with, with introducing yourself. Uh, well, I'm Victor, a mini truck rival. Uh, you know, I, 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 I do mini trucking stuff. Uh, fairly new in comparison to you guys. I've uh, been doing it since 20, 2010, maybe? Okay. 2010. Uh, more on the static, you know, uh, uh, JDM style mini trucks. And then uh, we, we throw a lot of events in the LA area. Uh, and by events, I mean meetups, cruises, things of that nature. Uh, we put on Doc Weiler, which is just a massive meetup of of all kinds of mini trucks and, and just kind of evolving from there. Uh, I, I started a brand 2018 just to kind of give give the people a little something, mm-hmm. you know, and and ever ever since, you know, I just started meeting different people. <laughs> Oh, no. hey, and, and and our live studio audience is it, it, we're getting flashed. flashing us. Uh, <laughs> yeah, your your audio is still cutting out. The audio is still cutting out. Yeah. Oh, all right. Where are we? Can you hear me? Oh, yeah. 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 It's just like there starts to get like uh, like staticky. Uh, Maybe it's yeah. the beard. And yeah, is, there, can, is there a forklift or something going on? What's going on over there? Yeah. I think there is a forklift outside. Okay. I was like, what is that? They must be closing up shop or something. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the other thing. So we're sitting down here. We're at Jason's World Repair. Uh, yeah. Big thanks to Jason for letting us sit here. You can kind of tell that by the background we have going on here. A bunch of wheel faces. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. Big thanks to Jason and also Jaime. Jaime is letting yeah. us hang Put out here on. a little bit together. later and uh, do this podcast. So maybe I should have started there. But, <laughs> but, we, but Vic already introduced himself. Vic from Mini Truck Revival. Revival, yes, yes. I, dude, I'm okay. I'm gonna be, <laughs> I'm gonna be very honest with you. That's fine. So when I was making the the Doc Weiler video, yeah, there's a couple cuts. Like I realized at the end of the video, I never said hosted by Mini Truck Revival because uh-huh. I kept on saying Mini Truck and Takeover. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And I feel so bad. No, don't. Be, and don't so be. dumb. <laughs> don't be. But yeah. I did that because that's why I was like, wait a minute. Am I saying this correctly? Yeah, yeah. No, but I am saying it correctly. No, Vic from Mini Truck it. Revival. It's, it's, so, so, you've been, so you started in 2010 in the scene, right? Well, not necessarily the scene. I didn't, I didn't know anything about mini trucks. I was into uh, Nissan 240s and kind of like uh, very like, you know, stands, drifting type stuff. And uh, this was before Nissan 240s went skyrocket through the roof on price. Mm-hmm. Uh, I bought, let's say I bought m- both of mine for $1,000 a pop. And then I traded one of those uh, Nissan 240s for an 89 extended cab Toyota pickup. Because I was just like, oh, it's cool. I wonder, you know, what you can do with it. And 
that's kind of where it started. And then from there, it's like, oh, let's go to forums and forums to see what people were doing with these trucks. Mm -hmm. And at that point, you know, I didn't know much. So I was like, okay, maybe through a forum, I think it was toyotamidis.com. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we just posted like, oh, I want to put a, a, a little get together uh, just to meet new people, right? And we decided uh, this guy named Carlos and Gus, Jaime knows Gus, um, we're like, oh, let's meet up at a beach and cool, whatever. And the first Dockweiler that we ever uh, we ever put together was 19 trucks. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Empire Fa Fabrication, he uh -huh. was there. Oh, Empire, little, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know Empire. Uh, Right-hand drive to get a pickup. Yeah. Uh, he was a big supporter in the beginning, but now he's just a massive, busy guy. Yeah, you know? Oh, yeah. He does some uh, really crazy stuff. But crazy does work. really awesome stuff. And from there, it just... It was Toyota Mini's Dockweiler. That's what it was first. So it was so was this like a Toyota, Toyota truck? thing? And oh, then, really? hmm. you know, we started getting uh, guys like Flojos to come out, and they were big supporters from the beginning. I think they started probably in the second one. They started mm -hmm. showing up, and then as we kept moving forward, let's say year four, now we started getting all the uh, old school tilt bed guys started showing up. We we're talking like new minis and. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, th those clubs in the LA area. And then from there, I started meeting people like Los from Source uh, from Sunset. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I met, I met him through through a friend at Dockweiler because uh, he also didn't know what what that scene was. And, you know, it was it was that it was just static mini trucks, mm -hmm. you know, throwing some nice rims, uh, some nice wheels, some blocks, you know, crank that torsion bar all the way yeah, down yeah, and then yeah. figure it out. And that's kind of how it started. But then as it progressed, you know, all the hard bodies started coming out, all the Nissan guys, the Mazda guys. And we're like, well, why is it called Toyota Minis, right? Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, let's make it a little more generic. Mm -hmm. per se. And then now it became uh, Doc Weiler. Mini trucks, truck meetup. You know? And, you know, from meeting Los, Jaime, that's how I met you. Uh -huh, yeah. At, at, a, at a council meet, uh, meeting or? Yeah, it was, well, it, was council council, it was like the council picnic. Yeah, and that's where I met you. And that's just kind of how, like, oh my, like, it was it was kind of like an eye opener. It's like there's so much more right to the scene than just the static guys, the tilt bed guys, the you know uh, full custom or custom bag body drop, whatever it is. Uh, and there's so many different avenues that you can take it. And mm -hmm. and, and when I created the the brand in 2018, that was kind of the point. Like I want to give a shout out to all the different styles, mm -hmm. right? Because I like. All the different styles but i also have my own i like more of a uh old school jdm 510s uh datsuns mm -hmm. 240s type thing and that's my style um but i can respect everything else right so that the, the what you're talking about there as far as like the the 510s and the 240s that's more like the drift scene right not necessarily the drift uh, the drift scene it's more like classic jdm okay so, so is that like something like similar to like uh, when they have Toyota Fest, like those type of cars? Yeah, Toyota okay. Fest or uh, JCCS, which is a, a classic Japanese car show, mm -hmm. uh, things like that. That's more my style, where I like to take, uh, uh, like kind of take it. Mm -hmm. Or someone like uh, Michael MJB, mm -hmm. he also does like a very static, performance-driven. Okay, I'm starting to see uh, what you're saying style here. Style truck, mm -hmm. but it's more like function and form. Mm -hmm. Then it is, let's just slam it, body drop it, whatever it is, mm -hmm. uh, and, and make it look good. Or, you know, we got the guys who want to do 15s by 10 and, you know, do the Mexi flush and just slam it to the ground. And you got mm -hmm. bacon fenders everywhere, but they don't give a, you know, they don't give a, they don't give a crap. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what's cool. And then you got, you know, the till bit scene, uh, people that, you know, started back in the 80s and then started coming back around. Yeah. that So I don't mean to cut you off, but I just no. want to interject a thought into it. Like. When seeing like I, I kind of like looked in not looked into but I guess I came across like the story of like new minis because like, well, they have a podcast too. Oh right. So right. like I was listening to their podcast and they were actually they got the, like you said they were in the, the scene in the eighties and they were building trucks and then they were out of it for a long time. So their yeah. like reemergence in the scene is like twenty fourteen right something around, like around that. that area. So when Somewhere you started Dockweiler, it was just like you and like the JDM guys mm -hmm. and then or in 2010 and then yep. a few years later when they kind of like re got into it mm -hmm. that's when they started showing up like the yeah. tilt bits. and i think where it came from it was like uh the flow host picnic mm -hmm. once that came into into the picture oh okay i think that's kind of where the emergence came mm -hmm. and then they were like oh well there's this doc Wilder thing let's go there and it just continued to get bigger and bigger and you know now there's i don't know 20 clubs that used to be back in the 80s 90s now right. they all have came back 
and and again it's that thing of like you know uh, mini trucking never died Mm -hmm. to me Mm -hmm. it's more like people just went a different route or did a different chose to do different things right right when i came into the scene i didn't know what mini trucking was or mini truck magazine or Mm. you know the different styles or anything of that nature i just knew that i liked the way they looked right right and i was like well where, where do we take it from here and then that's how i started meeting everyone Mm-hmm. And then once I created the brand, it was literally Doc Weiler, I don't know, five or six, where I was like, well, people like it. Let me make a t-shirt. Uh-huh. And people really liked it. So I just made a bunch of t-shirts. That's cool. And then that's how, that's like, usually how like cool companies start. Yeah, it's like they're know, very like, organic. Okay, cool. And it was, it was my truck. My old black truck was in, in, in the graphic. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, that's cool. Maybe I can do something with it and that will allow me to go to different places that have different looks. Mm-hmm. And that's when I started going to the bigger shows, mm-hmm. uh, Forbidden Fantasy, um, you know, uh, everything that Freaks of Nature does, uh, you know, and that's kind of how it started. Then it was like, okay, let's make a pin, right? Uh, which, you know, uh, shout out to um, Jap from Freaks of Nature because he kind of oh, put he, me he on Oh, he helped game. you out with that? That's cool. Uh, I remember we, you and I and Jaime were talking about making a pin uh, in Neptune's Cruise, mm-hmm. you know, because he was the first guy, Jaime. Was the first guy was like, I want to make uh, your the pink truck into that a he pin. had into a pin. Uh-huh. That was the first pin that came out. Oh, right on. Uh, but I did it through a different company, and then speaking to Jap from Fe- Freaks, he was like, "Well, do this and do that," and and just kind of put me on game on like how to save money mm-hmm. while I'm making all this stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, and and that's kind of was like, well, okay, well, we can expand it and do this and this and that, and you know. Uh, that's kind of how I grew. And then I was like, okay, well, how do I get to be a vendor at these places? Right. Mm-hmm. And, and meet these people. And then it's like, come up with a name, come up with a logo and mm-hmm. do all that. And, and that's kind of how the whole mini truck revival thing came along. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't so much mini truck revival to let's bring back the mini trucks. It was more take a stock truck, mm-hmm. stock, small size truck, and make it something, mm-hmm. right? How do so we get So essentially, you revive the truck. You're exactly. not really talking about the scene. You're oh, talking you're about just, the actual oh, truck. Right. Uh-huh. Yeah, exactly. And, and it's more to to whoever has a truck because mm-hmm. it's it's kind of like the the Honda scene, right? You know, it became ricer because everyone got a handy downs uh-huh. of their cars, and they were just like, "How do we get this low and?" and going as cheap as possible. Right. And that's kind of where I come from. I was like, well, put some blocks, uh-huh. target down, yeah. and figure it out. Now, do I know better now? Yeah, of course. Uh-huh. You know, But it's uh-huh. like, they're still, the, the new kids are still doing it. But now with Doc Weiler, with Neptune's Cruise, end of the year meet here in LA, we are able to show the new generation uh, different styles Mm -hmm. and we see that now there's you know new kids that are they want to do a full tilt bed they want to do uh full custom or bags you know Mm -hmm. i know there's you know you mentioned that your truck is not full yeah yeah i always thought that was really funny in my (laughs) eyes i was like well that thing is dope i mean it looks full custom to me yeah uh but then you know going to different places looking at someone like jaime like look at that truck that he drives and he drives it everywhere Uh uh-huh now, if it was my truck, it would be sitting in the garage nice and pretty. That's, <laughs> like mine. <laughs> you know, like that's what I would do, but I respect that, uh-huh. you know. And in Dockweiler specifically, uh, because we get, I don't know, 400 trucks of all different sizes and different shapes and different uh, scenes, if mm-hmm. you want to call it, uh, they all get to see different avenues that they can take it, mm-hmm. right? So... Even the Instagram page, Mini Truck Revival, it's not just let me pull, po- let me post cool trucks. It's let me give a chance to somebody who just has a little, you know, maybe uh, two inch drop mm-hmm. stock looking truck. Let me post it, mm-hmm. right? Because why not? You yeah. So you just wanted to to like feature people who. So like from my so after listening to you talk, I kind of tell you 
explain it from my perspective. Mm. So it's it's really interesting to me the way that you're describing this whole scene that that you've you've mm. you've essentially almost kind of built this scene if you think it, it like listening to you and talk like you start off in in like the Japanese style mm. you know trucks and cars and then you started this meet and then the tilt bed guys came because see I thought all of this existed much longer before that and I'm sure it has I mean but the, you... but this scene the scene in L A this Doc, Doc Weiler end of mini tr- or end of year mini truck meetup uh, yeah. Neptune's net yeah. that you've you well, have. Not really, is it, scene. It's not really just a scene in LA. It's just, it's an entire West but it, Coast. It, it, yeah, exactly. Thing, and you're just you're just essentially giving them a place to hang out. Right. You're, right, you're, you're giving right. them a platform. Exactly. And that's what it is. It's it's. I mean, all of these events are me, but they wouldn't be possible without the support of everyone. Uh huh. And the fact that I get to now bring so many different looks, so many different scenes, so many different people. Right. Yeah. Because what, what we would get a lot, too, uh, specifically, like, well, I don't want to go to, let's say, Forbidden Fantasy, because it's not what I drive, mm-hmm. right? It's not a, you know, a static truck or, like, a beginning beginning stages of a, of a, of a build, mm-hmm. right? It's, it's more like, well, I don't know if they're going to like me. And that's how I felt when I started talking to guys like Jaime or, like, yourself. I was like, well, I don't know. Am I going to fit in? Uh-huh. And... You know, it's just a conversation. Well, yeah. You know. So how how old are you? Uh, thirty two. Thirty two. When did you start doing this stuff? Twenty twenty ten. So you were twenty twenty two. You were twenty ish years old. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, what we're seeing is the, the, just a, the next generation of mini truckers, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. they're just not into what we're into, like. Right. Like, well, I, but, I don't but, think. But at, but at the same time, but at the same time that. That we were into that when we were eighteen and twenty because right. Right. we right. could. It's all it's, again. This all this all goes back to money. Mm-hmm. It, 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 That's it's exactly a, what it is. When you're when you're sixteen to twenty, in your early twenties, you don't have a lot of money, so you're getting as low as possible with the tools that you have. Mm-hmm. And then as you get older, you're like, oh, I want to actually do a body drop, or I actually want to do mm-hmm. bags, or I want to do this or that, or so it's. It's just a kind of a, uh, it's exactly what we did just in a in 20 years Which, later. But, uh, and sorry to interrupt, but even to that point, you know, you look at certain people in the, in the mini truck scene, and this is just as a whole, I don't want a bag truck. I don't want a bag. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want yeah. a solid little, you know, uh, commuter, and, yeah. and I want it to run, and I want it to look, uh, have a more of a Japanese classic. Yeah. style yeah that's your and, that's, and that's, the, that's your and look that's, that's my look and that's kind of how it is now it's like okay well if i have the money what am i going to do can i do an engine swap or do i want to go full body drop and bags yeah or well, I do think, i go go ahead oh no i'm sorry i think that like you're kind of i don't want to say like a leader or something like that but you have you kind of are really heading this movement not movement but people look at you and they're like, I want to, you know what I mean? And what you're doing is what the cool thing is. And I think mm-hmm. that that happens. Like when we were younger people, the, the, the entire goal of the truck was to get it as low as possible. So we were looking yeah. at, at shops like stage one and chop shop. And they're like, we're going to mm-hmm. body drop it. We're going to bag it. And what that does is it just starts a trend of yeah, what, the, of what that like. Mm-hmm. So, so if there's someone in the community, that's kind of ahead of that community and, and they like a certain thing, and that's what they yeah. do. Those younger guys are going to gravitate towards that. Right. That, but it, that it, it, it's kind of it's kind of different because what I like, not a lot of a lot of the new mini truckers like. Yeah. So what what I see more with like the new generation is like a stance yeah. look. That's what I see. Uh, you know, get it get it low and 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 as much as you can yeah. for cheap, right? Or maybe you go the right way. You go coilovers and things of the nature, or four link it, but with coilovers. That's also a different avenue. I think the the purpose of what I what I like is just to to kind of uh, show the differences that there is, and just let this new generation just kind of be figure yeah, it out right. which avenue you want to take. Right. Because you know, again, we bring somebody out like yourselves with full body drops and bags and things like that, and people go crazy for them too. Yeah. Right. I mean, you mentioned on the yeah. podcast before. It's like, oh, we never seen one like this. Right. At one of our uh, uh, one of our events, but it's like, right. How do we get these people to come to mm-hmm. these events? Right. And then mm-hmm. that's why Doc Weiler exists now because now yeah. you have everything. Yeah. And and Doc Weiler's not a show. It's not a uh, 
it's not even an event. It's just people at the beach. Right. right? Which I, which I yeah. make very clear in like every one of my videos, which is, and the reason I put so much emphasis on it is because I think it's so cool. Like mm -hmm. you, this is, this is purely just people meeting up to, to just enjoy each other's company yeah. and vehicles. Like yeah, there's exactly. no, there's no other, I don't want to say like ulterior motive, like trophies or anything yeah. like, but it's, it, but it's, since it doesn't have that, it's, even more unique to see yeah. these people coming together just to enjoy the vehicles yeah. and enjoy each other's and, company. And, and what's cool too is that, and I like to think, I don't know if it's actually how it happened, but it just kind of seems like it did. So many people created clubs or groups from meeting at Dogweiler because they oh, really? didn't know each oh, other, cool. right? Um, and, you know, we get to meet clubs that maybe we want to be a part of. Uh -huh. right? Like for example, myself, uh, I, I will... I thought about being like, oh, maybe I should make a club or maybe mm -hmm. I should join a club before making a brand. But then I was like, I don't, I didn't want a restriction, mm -hmm. right? From, cause it seemed very clicky to me at some point, mm -hmm. but it's not. It can be, yeah. It can be, but it, but it's not because, mm -hmm. you know, we're talking about forbidden fantasy, no regrets, uh, freaks, mm -hmm. seductive, you name it, sunset. And all of these people have, at least for me, have welcomed me with open arms uh -huh. and we've done collaborations of like let's make a pin of this let's make a pin of that mm -hmm. and we've done collaborations and, and they've allowed me to kind of come into to this scene mm -hmm. right which is how i get to go to shows and and sleep in my truck just so i can <laughs> yeah. just so i can be there yeah. um and also still continue to to do what i do which is you know super cool that you get to see it in in a channel like custom life uh, Grinder TV, you haven't been to Dockweiler, but we need you out there. Yeah. Uh, when, I get know, that, when I get that mini truck on the road. And, and it, it's just such a, a cool experience because it's, you, you know, again, going back to the subject of mini truck never died. It mm -hmm. just has shifted throughout the years. Right. Right. Yeah. You know, I've always said uh, every time I've heard someone say that mini trucking is dying or the scene is dying or it's not like it used to be. I always wholeheartedly disagree with those people because you're right. The scene never really died. Mm -hmm. It only have, has ever evolved, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. and, and from, you know, our perspective being in the clubs that we're in and going to the shows that we've gone yeah. to, I've been doing this for, you know, 20 years now mm -hmm. and I've never gone to, I've never had a point where I was like, Oh, there's nothing to do. Yeah. Every, there's always something yeah. to do and there's always a show mm -hmm. and, and things to do. And, you know, um, Listening to you talk about this scene is so exciting for me because like Brian was saying, it's like, it's, it's, we, we often thought like, what, what's next for, where does this go? Like, yeah. cause we had often thought for a long time that we're not getting a lot of new people in the scene mm -hmm. and we're mm -hmm. just sort of, we kind of came to this like conclusion and being comfort with the fact that yeah. like, this is it. We're just going to grow yeah. with these people. We're just going to just grow basically just grow old with these people. Yeah. So when I went to my first Doc Weiler, it was eye opening to me because I'm like, no, wait a minute. No, there's new people mm -hmm. getting into the yeah. scene. There's new people who are excited about it. And um, kind of to, to go back on what Brian was talking about, about how there's like this like natural thing where you start off doing something mm -hmm. like, like you're saying, like dudes just wanted to have their trucks low and just wanted to get them out there yeah. and cruise them. The exact same thing happened when, I, and, and I'm really trying through this conversation. One thing that I don't want to do is sound very gatekeeper ish or very mm -hmm. like as, as an old guard type thing, because but, I really don't like that mentality, mm -hmm. but I'm just kind of talking about it from our perspective. There's still, I think even now there's still a, a wall in between. Right. Mm -hmm. Cause I can tell you a lot of my followers, like, yeah, they'll hear, they'll hear forbidden fantasy show, which is, you know, top notch, but it's almost like unwelcoming in a sense, mm. the thought, not mm -hmm. that it actually, Oh no, is no, it's really interesting to hear this. Yeah. Uh, but it's like, it's more of a fear of not fitting in because it's mm. so different than what they, they know. Mm -hmm. But it's like, you look at certain things like Doc Wiley, you have, you know, uh, boosted minis who have two Jay Z's on every single one yeah. of the trucks. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a dope truck, uh -huh. but it's not, body dropped and bagged and all that mm -hmm. you look at someone like uh again not to bring him up again but he's here uh, uh -huh. michael turbo truck static drop right. coilovers and you know he 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 does a lot of things for that community as well mm -hmm. but it's almost like there's there's still a fence that we're still climbing mm -hmm. 
but it's just a comfort thing. Mm -hmm. It's not that yeah. there is a fence. And I think, and this is not to like toot my own horn, but it's like my events allow that to just be okay. Right. Like, well, yeah, it's like bridging the gap between all these things. Right. But it's like, I think my, my purpose of going to these shows and like being a vendor there and like, you know, showing face, it's like, we can all come. Oh, for sure. And, and be part of this. It's mm -hmm. not, it's not, and I'm not saying like, you know, people are, you know, uh, afraid of it or think they're too cool or whatever it is i'm just saying like the door is there we just gotta fully open it right it's right? uh that happens in every genre of vehicles yeah you know what i mean it happens in the c10 world it happens in the muscle car mm -hmm. world and what it is is you get a group of people that grow together and then they become what we are now and then you have the people that are the next generation or the two generations mm -hmm. behind that and it's just different you know what i mean it's 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 and and one one of the things that was kind of a i think i spoke to both of you about when i was doing the last versus mm -hmm. challenge on, uh -huh. my, on my page where it came down to um the green the green apple forerunner oh yeah and a and which a, beat a, a me little by fight. the way <laughs> be, yeah that's true beat me in the first round which i guess okay uh, a forerunner that's body dropped on big billets with a, a motor swap i yeah, mean okay well, fine <laughs> it happens it, it went at it with with a, a a little what was that a 510 a little Datsun 510 and that was the last round oh really of, of the of the verses where you had you know fully built trucks body drop trucks static trucks tilt tilt bed trucks you name it it's on there and it came down to these two completely opposite trucks. Oh, okay. And it was it was a battle. Mm -hmm. You know, I was just getting left and right DM. So like, I is want to vote the, for this truck. Is this the the verses that you just did, or is this previous? This is a previous one where you got to be on the Doc Weiler shirt. Right. Yeah. So you want to explain that to the for the people who don't oh, really yeah, know yeah, okay. what that is. So uh, on your on your Instagram page, so, Mini Truck Revival. Uh -huh. On Mini Truck Revival, we randomly will will host a versus challenge. What that means is it's not specific. It's not, uh, you know, specific looks, specific styles. If you want to be part of it, you just DM me mm -hmm. and I'll put you on if I can. Mm -hmm. uh, the reason being is because it needs to go in a very uh, specific order. It needs to divide by like two, four, eight, 16, 32, So like 64. a typical bracket. Kind yeah, of thing, bracket yeah. system. Uh -huh. So uh, with that, then I just choose a bunch of trucks to go against each other mm -hmm. uh, as many as i can fit that fit into the bracket if, if the numbers don't match then some people will get left out mm -hmm. um and then after that you just kind of you go like for like mm -hmm. but as you start going down the bracket the likes are black and white it's a tilt bed truck and a uh, full body a mm -hmm. full, full body drop truck or mm -hmm. a, a you know uh static uh engine swap you name it against you know abc and i noticed that or like you at least until you get to that point early on in the in the tournament i guess yeah. so to speak you do try to match them up kind of yeah, evenly yeah. So like i noticed that like you definitely put it against mm -hmm. like a mazda versus a mazda yeah, yeah. So maybe it's, one it's maybe for like yeah. so if it's you know if it's a forerunner and i have another forerunner not to mm. go back to that but i'll put them against each other and then i'm still salty i didn't i didn't <laughs> enter my truck in this one <laughs> We're currently hosting one, by the way. It's gonna, it's gonna. gonna what is the? Um, and I'll let you finish. But like, what is the, um, the prize, so to speak, for this, this one? Because the last one you um, said was to be on the artwork. I didn't for the... put one. I noticed that because that's can... what I was I'm asking. Because I was a little lost. Uh, so we are, we are hosting a end of the year meet, but mm. we're not making a, a t-shirt for it, um, which would have been probably the price. Whoever wins would be mm -hmm. on that t-shirt. But time wise, it doesn't allow me to make the artwork and then yeah. put the shirt oh, out for sure. and whatever. Because that's in a few weeks, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, December 18, Sunday. Uh, <laughs> just, you know, just to let you there. know. <laughs> uh, and I, I didn't pick one, but if you want to kind of put it out there today, uh, I'm just going to send you a bunch of stuff. Oh, cool. You know, so whoever wins, I'm going to send them a bunch of gear um, from Mini Truck Revival. And. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool right yeah, now. Yeah, it is. It's pretty neat. Uh, we're going to keep going, and people like it. Mm -hmm. And and not only do people like it, and, and, and it creates engagement for my page, which I also apologize that I'm not super active on, <laughs> except for when I do this. Yeah, uh, no. It brings a plethora of, of new followers. That's cool. So it, it's kind of cool in that sense. Um, and it's just fun, mm -hmm. right? And and that's kind of the, the, the purpose of it and what I post in the beginning of, of, of hosting that because people can get in their feelings. Oh, uh -huh. And it's like, 
if you're going to participate, understand that this is just for fun. Right. It's not. People do. Do people get pretty upset? Not like, um, I've had a few, <laughs> um, not to name any names, but yeah, we had on a this, few. On this most recent one you did, um, uh, it was, uh, you had Daryl Poe, the seat, the, that S10 from back East, the black body drop with the gold graphics on it. Like it's, West it's still on there. Yeah. Uh huh. It's still on there. Well, well, I, I forgot who Georgie in our club with the extra cab, the black one with the purple graphics. I forgot mm-hmm. who he, I forgot who he went up against, but he won the first round. And then I was just talking crap to him. I was like, I didn't even vote for you, man. I voted for the other truck above you. <laughs> and then when, he, uh, then when I saw that he won that round and then it was him versus Daryl, I was like, rest in peace, Georgie, your truck. Oh, yeah. that thing. Yeah. That's and hilarious. He got, and, he got and, blown out. <laughs> and it's going to happen, man. I mean, we, we got, I think we're down to 64. Mm-hmm. Now. And you, do you think it, do you think that the, the picture is important too? Like, so Yes. Oh my God. Yes. I'm because so I'll look at it up. and I'll be like that truck. I like that truck better, but that picture is like it's the it's just a dead on front view. I can't really tell. Mm-hmm. The, yeah. Yeah. The so sta- the so stance the, of it or whatever. The last verses that we did, uh, I wasn't very specific. Mm-hmm. This versus I, I asked for a specific angle, which for the most part they match because I also got a crop. What people don't understand is this takes time. I, and that was one thing that I was going to bring up: the amount of effort that must go into this because yeah, even just ridiculous. like posting stories like kind of every day and kind of tr- keep yeah. track of it it's very difficult mm-hmm. i could only imagine what kind of work goes into uh, producing this it, thing it, it's it's it takes time mm-hmm. one because it's not like there's a system or an app in place that i can use right it's literally you're putting every single one you together. send me the pictures i gotta crop it i put mm-hmm. you on my notes then i gotta go from my notes to the instagram to get your instagram name because <laughs> i'm not gonna remember right and then i gotta make sure i get it right yeah, right? and then I got to do that with, and then 200. people have weird Instagram names. Yeah, and it's, it's like, so, dude, yeah. it's like, <laughs> how long can it be? Right, and if I misspell it, you won't come up, or mm-hmm. I won't be able to find you, and mm-hmm. then I'm like kind of lost. Uh, but this time around, I, I got it down to kind of like a science mm-hmm. that I that I kind of understand in my own little world. So I spend maybe an hour and a half at nighttime uh-huh. setting it up, mm-hmm. and then you know you have. People DM me like, hey, uh, when is the next one? And I was like, it You're takes like, time. Hold, hold on. <laughs> hold on. It, it, it takes time. But but it to me, it's fun. The mm-hmm. engagement is fun. And also, I'll go to my personal page and vote for my favorites. Oh, cool. You know? And, and it, it it's funny how it's just kind of, and this is not to like knock anybody. Uh, it's funny how sometimes my personal like mm-hmm. does not lead to the winner right uh, it's i i've noticed that on mine too when i when i tap the one that i like i'm like oh yeah has, that's way down yeah yeah and it's it's it but it's it's kind of what we've been discussing this whole time it's like yeah. the scene is not necessarily changing but growing mm-hmm. in different areas and different styles mm-hmm. yeah it's like so, a, it, yeah it's a because we me and you have talked you know what i mean like yeah dm'd each other about you know the the JDM stuff and like how I'm a huge, I'm a huge fan of that stuff yeah. and, and mm-hmm. as well. So sometimes, yeah, I'll, there'll be like a bag truck or whatever. And then the one mm-hmm. I like is not that one. Exactly. And sometimes honestly, like even in the previous one that we did where, where uh, uh, green apple, the flow host truck won, you'll be surprised how much of it was a game of reposting mm-hmm. and tagging oh, your friends for it. Yeah. I didn't even, that maybe affected, that's where I messed up. That, yeah, <laughs> it, it, it affected the algorithm like crazy because uh-huh. I noticed a lot. I was like, well, this is a really cool truck versus this one who's, you know, maybe a work in progress or something, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, again, not trying to throw shade to anybody, but right. it's like the the person with the other truck put the work in to get the votes. Right. And reshared and reshared. Now that benefits me as a brand. Yeah. But it's so cool to see that, you know, the extent that it goes to. And, you know, you, we get you know we got dms of saying like oh my god it's so close it's so close and some of them end up in ties really it's really gnarly that is pretty Um, interesting we had on this one that we're currently doing we had uh two uh 720s from japan i forget their names but it's a gray one and then like a blue with a paint job they tied in the first one really and i'm talking about to the T, because you can wow. you can see when you go into settings, yeah, yeah. exactly how many points, right? Um, and it's like it was literally the I think same it was like number. 300, 300. You need to wow. do you need to do the World Cup of <laughs> mini trucking. So yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. Ja- oh, that's, that's Japan, a cool idea. Australia, New Zealand, that's a really the cool US, idea. Canada, yeah, uh, Brazil, and, and Thailand. 
And that's kind of how, how this one started, where it was like, okay, all the S10s together, uh, you, you know, the hard bodies together, the Tacomas together, the uh, 84 to 88 pickups together. Mm -hmm. That's how it started. And now it's starting just to kind of mix. Mm -hmm. And it's going to come down to who knows? Who knows? Yeah, who knows who, what's going to be at the who's end? Who's going to win? So that's you really know, cool. tune in tonight, probably, uh, for the next one. But, you know, it, it's, it's just one it builds my brand two it creates engagement mm -hmm. and i think people just enjoy it mm -hmm. now do people get in their feelings sometimes sure well, but everybody does you kind of you <laughs> yeah. kind of know what you're getting yourself into and that mm -hmm. goes with even with the sharing it's like this is all just a game you know yeah. it's like uh street street trucks does their cover of the the year after at the end of the year and, and that's it's a game of sharing too it's whoever shares whoever can get the their, most of their friends in there mm -hmm. you know what i mean but it's all that that is essentially part of the fun Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I mean? Because it's part of the fun. And uh, a, one, you know, we on this podcast, obviously, we talk about a lot of trucks, but mm -hmm. the other, there are a couple of other themes. But one of the themes that we talk about a lot is is build is brand building mm -hmm. and and maintaining a brand. And what you're saying is just a really ingenious way mm -hmm. to build your brand and and get like you said, mm -hmm. build your brand, get engagement, yeah. as well as people having fun and and participating. And and the reality is that. I suck at my Instagram, man. I don't. Well, I if you suck, then pose, I really, really, really I suck. Rarely pose, and I, sometimes <laughs> I feel bad because I get people sending me pictures left and right, like, "Oh, post me, post me," and I'm like, "Okay, yeah, yeah, I'll get to it," and then mm -hmm. boom, I forget. Yeah. And then I'll have another hundred DMs, and I completely forgot where you were, uh -huh. so I can't go back to it. So now I've even created a science where if you DM me asking to be posted, I'll flag you, so I can go back to it. Oh, okay. And find you. Now I gotta get good at actually posting it, right? But you know, yeah, it, that's, it, that, that's a totally different like thing yeah. than we than what we do. So that's oh, a whole sure. that's a that's and, a whole different monster. And that kind of leads me to a question that I had: is what is your what's the what's your goal for what's your goal for your brand and the goal for the shows? Um, for the brand, we're definitely taking a, a shift, and I'm I'm taking a page of uh, uh, George's book. And, and kind of going a different route. And mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't necessarily think I'm going to be a vendor in, in, in shows anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe a few here and there. Uh, but I'm ta definitely taking a different route where I'm going to attend events and maybe try to go more of a, a blog, just video mm -hmm. route. Right. And then just have an online page. That's, mm. that's the unicorn for me. Like, I, I've spent the last... 15 years trying mm -hmm. to figure out the formula for that. Maybe I, I'm looking at it from, cause like the, and I'll, and I'll put myself on blast a little mm -hmm. bit. The way that you're describing the effort and time that you put into it, I don't do that. And like Brian was saying, like he doesn't do that either. You know, we've kind of, you know, got, like you said, gone a different route and tried, mm -hmm. you know, to do it, to yeah. do it a different way. But the, that yeah, I would is say like, we do it. I would say the effort's different though, because whereas maybe, yeah. maybe the effort's not there in our Instagram, Mm. It's definitely there in this podcast. It's definitely there in our YouTube channel. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, for yeah. sure. And, 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 so, and that, that just becomes a time thing, right? So once you run out of time with the effort with those outlets, you don't have time to really do the Instagram thing where what yeah. you're saying, Victor, was, was like, you're trying to look at it from a time thing too, like the vendor <laughs> thing and that. It's like, if you're a vendor, you're sitting at your booth all day. You yeah. don't have time to go right. out and interact. Like, and you could you could go out and vlog it or blog it or yeah. however you want to do it, and, and then and that that becomes your outlet. And then you can use that to sell merchandise yeah. online. And, and that was kind of the reasoning behind it, because uh, literally, at least anything somewhat local to LA, I saw you guys at as mm -hmm. a vendor, mm -hmm. but it was just me, right? right? So I don't have you know. Uh, Shout out to my wife, but, you know, she stays at home with my kids and she takes care of them and she supports me mm -hmm. a lot in what I do, but it's just me in a truck or right. a van or whatever I can get my hands on driving to these shows and, and doing the vendor thing. Mm -hmm. um, but I couldn't enjoy it. Right. Yeah. Oh, I for sure. I know. I know that feeling. Yeah. I know that and, feeling. And, and I did it for two years straight. It was like back to back to back to back. And mm -hmm. I'm just like, it's not... It, it it's no longer enjoyable to me mm -hmm. like yes it's cool that i got to be here and enjoy it and and kind of evolve myself into this this different scene mm -hmm. but i no longer enjoyed it mm. and that's why i was like maybe i need to take a different a approach different route, a, approach mm -hmm. i mean you go to my youtube channel my videos are shit compared mm -hmm. to yours excuse me <laughs> that's okay that. uh, but like you know i'm playing on my phone setting uh -huh. up a video with with a uh 
a uh, instrumental that one of my buddies made for me and I just reuse it over and over again. Oh, right on. Uh, so I don't really take the time nor do I have the the knowledge to to put out, you know, a video to your you guys at scale, I guess. Well there's there's, there's so many different ways to actually oh, yeah. like to do your social media. You know what I mean? There's the way mm-hmm. that I do it. There's the way that Frank does it. There's the way that you're doing it. I mean, there's people on YouTube that literally will just take their phone and walk around a show. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's all in, and it's really just all in what you, how you want yeah, to do that's, it. That's and it's a really, figuring it out. Yeah. That's a cool, that's a neat perspective to look at it from. Cause you know, I look at, I see what you're doing and I'm like, man, I need to do that. If I want to build my brand and get out there and be on social media, I need to put in the same effort as yeah. you do. And you look at it from your perspective at yeah. us, like, Oh, you know, I wish I, you know, I don't mean to say that put origin in your mouth, but you know, you want to produce like better videos and stuff like that. Yeah. So it is like you were saying, Brian, it is just sort of where we're all filling our mm-hmm. own space and kind of like filling our own yeah. expertise, I guess, so to speak. Yeah. And, and yeah. one of the main reasons is cause, uh, I, I travel for work now. So, and my schedule changes from day in to day out. Like mm-hmm. I wanted to go to this past forbidden show, but then my schedule changed and I couldn't even make it. Mm-hmm. And I want to be like, Hey Brian, let me get a booth. Mm-hmm. But then it was like, week to week i was like it's not gonna happen so mm-hmm. and it ended up not happening for me but it was that kind of stuff where i was just like i don't have the ability to do what i want to do uh and i can only f- fully focus on certain things so how do how do i do that while still you know doing what i like to do right um so so you just you're you're just like you just adapt to, to what you can, yeah. like what you can do. Like exactly. what's with you, you look at it like, okay, so I have to travel for work. I have to take care of my responsibility. So what can I do within my power to, to, to get farther yeah, is basically exactly. what you're saying. Yeah, that's and, cool. and you know, it, but now it'll be more of like, okay, well, if I'm able to go, I don't have the worry of like getting literally a booth. for, uh, um, uh, what is it? Cruising on the Red Rocks? I forget. Oh, uh-huh. oh, uh, rolling the Red Rocks. Rolling on the Red mm-hmm. Rocks. I'm so sorry. Um, Graham's like, oh. <laughs> he's like this motherfucker. Uh, so that was literally. I flew back on Friday morning. Mm-hmm. I got a truck, loaded all my crap, and drove over there and got there like at I don't know two a.m. Yeah. yeah, man. <laughs> and it wasn't like, oh, you know, let me stay at a nice hotel. It's like, no, I'm kind of broke. Let me yeah. just sleep in the truck. Uh-huh. And that's kind of how most of my events have gone i mean every time i talk to you yeah yeah, you're, like, no, yeah that's how you roll when was it la- <laughs> on the on the last um on the last uh show in perum uh-huh. uh, I, I came and you guys were bowling and i, I don't know who asked me it's like oh so where are you staying are you staying in the hotel you're i was like, like no, no I'm, a, I'm gonna sleep in the u-haul i was like all right cool and you could just look at it like it's camping yeah, I mean it's so. We've done that before. Yeah, yeah, we've definitely camped in our trucks. Damn, like, I like that camped. <laughs> even like like that show, it was it was a little better for me because the the boots got shut down at a certain point, point. Mm-hmm. and then I was like, okay, well we're going on the screws, mm-hmm. and we're gonna go on the screws, mm-hmm. and I was like, hi mate, we're, I'm rolling with you, mm-hmm. whether I fit or not, we're gonna do this, mm-hmm. um, and yeah, we went on the screws, and we we you know we had a good time, and mm-hmm. that was enjoyable. And kind of the the reawakening for me, like, oh, I really like this shit. No, mm-hmm. excuse me. Yeah, I really like okay. this. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> and I was like, okay, well, I want to go back to that. Because mm-hmm. even even something like Dockweiler, where it's like, I, I find myself asking like, oh, that truck was there? I didn't yeah. see it. Because mm-hmm. I couldn't, I couldn't yeah, leave, yeah. right? Well, that, I mean, that's a different beast for you because you're like, hosting the event yeah, right, I say right, that right. Quote. So you're hosting the event you're like making sure everything's cool and everybody's cool mm-hmm. so you kind of get wrapped up a little yeah bit. and it's like okay well i mean and that i understand and and you know there's no way i'm gonna stop doing doc weiler or, mm-hmm. or neptune screws i actually used to do four or five meets oh, really? a year before and then i think COVID hit and and i was just kind of like it's too much we used to meet at prado lake too Oh, okay. Uh, often, yeah, that's a, I think we hit like, like an old school spot. Four or five years at a point, mm-hmm. and then we stopped because it was just because then so many people came out or 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 came into the scene that I was like, well, now there's too many things to go to, oh. and we can't yeah. attend all of them. Right? right, and not that it's a bad thing, but now now you have to pick and choose. Mm-hmm. So sometimes I have people like, oh, are you coming out? It's like. No, I can't because mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. I got to pick either this or that. Right, and it's not like oh I don't want to support you. It's I got to make decisions based on my my life. I mm-hmm. guess no, I that and you know I fall into the that that happens to me a lot. So since 
we go to so many events and mm-hmm. we've, this is our job. Like we go to these events. It's hard for me personally to do that too, to sometimes you're like, look, I can't go for kind of example. I, I'm not gonna be going to severed this weekend. Like okay. I had planned to go on severed this weekend and plan to, yeah. to go, but you know, it came up like, you know, I had to do a th- something with my kids. You know, I, I had to do, there's other things that I had to take care of. And it's, I'm still in the process of mm-hmm. like learning how to like teach myself how to do that. Yeah. Like it's okay. Yeah. Like just because you didn't go mm-hmm. or you didn't participate or you said you were going to go and didn't go, mm-hmm. it's okay. Right. You know? Yeah. And there was, there was moments where I was like, like for example, let's say I paid for a booth or I, I had a booth. My, my, in, inside of me, I was like dreading going. Mm. Not because of the show or who it was for, or whatever. I was tired. Yeah, <laughs> no, I totally, you know I, mean? I totally get that. And, yeah, and I was just like, I, I don't want to go, but I was like, I have to show face because these people show face for me, mm-hmm. right? And 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 I want to make a good impression in this different scene, I guess, so I can bring these people into to our neck of the woods, mm-hmm. so other people can see it, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. um, and that's kind of where it all kind of stems from. All I want to do really is bring every aspect of what mini trucks are together Mm -hmm. and and you know that whole uh mini truck ain't dead or or died or Mm -hmm. whatever it's people just chose to do different things right or you know like i can tell you doc weiler 40 percent of people that show up to doc weiler are brand new okay because they're like oh well this is something cool that people do Mm -hmm. let's just go and 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 it introduces them to everything and, and, that, and that, yeah and we've always said that like like frank kind of said earlier and and i i hold on to it too is like when anyone ever says oh it's not like it used to be oh this or that no 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 you're not like you used to be right that's a good and way to put it it's you it's not the scene because like frank said there is something to do all the time yeah whether it, it within a five hour drive or sometimes within an hour drive and mm-hmm. if you choose not to go to that that's your choice mm-hmm it, it's yeah. that the, the the scene and the trucks will move on without you mm-hmm. and and they'll evolve and they'll do what they do and then and it and it's exactly what's yeah. happening mm-hmm. and in the beginning of all my little meetups were literally just excuses for me to hang out with my friends right mm-hmm. uh, shout out to bfts uh that's my little group of friends uh and what, is, what does that stand for uh so back then you know other people that are not into mini trucks they question why we do things uh-huh and it's because fuck that shit. <laughs> I like uh, that. I like so, that. So, and, and then we have another little group that's uh, uh, AWT. Uh, it's called Assholes with Trucks. <laughs> uh, because we awesome. we are, you know, I mean, yeah. what you like may not necessarily be what I like. Mm-hmm. And I may be an asshole about it, but that's okay. Mm-hmm. Right? Uh, so, you know, even then, like, the group of friends that... that that was just the excuse. Let's hang out together. Let's let's come together. Mm-hmm. And then it became bigger and bigger and bigger. And I was like, well, let me do something with it. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then, you know, people come and go. Mm-hmm. And that's okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that it, that it, happens it, all the time. It, and we say that often as well on this. is like, you know, if if life changes and it just, just really doesn't fit your life anymore, then that's okay too. Yeah. You know, you can leave and, you know, you come can back come later. back. Yeah. Uh, Brian has said yeah. before, like, when it comes to our club, like you know, if it's just cause it doesn't fit your life right now, mm-hmm. you don't go like, well, okay, I'm going to get out of the club. You're yeah. just like, no, just go, go take but care of you. what you got to take care yeah. of. And then yeah. when you're ready, it's come re- back. That was a hard thing for me to, to overcome when I was um, a little bit younger was when I, cause I was president of this club since I was since 98. So seeing people leave the club or not leave the club, but just like, Oh, I have other things in life to do mm-hmm. was hard for me to figure out. I'm like, why you could just do this. And mm-hmm. then, but now, and then you then you go through what they were going through, and you mm-hmm. learn, like, oh, I can't do this. I can't be a hundred all on all the time. Right. Yeah. You know, I, I, and uh, so yeah. And and that uh, was kind of like, I wouldn't say scary, but like a uh, a uh, uh, something that I had to navigate mm-hmm. when I was going through different different stages of mini trucking, right, or, or being introduced to to these big clubs that you're like, well, it's a little intimidating because mm-hmm. we we're talking about. And not to mention again, but like talking about forbidden fantasy, no regret, seductive, sunset, you know, severed and, and severed, and, and all these amazing uh, clubs that you're just like, well, I'm just a dude, right? Like I'm just a dude, and and 
you know, I've never met you. Uh, I, I remember, um, uh, crap, Rick from Sunset, Ricky. Oh, Ricky, yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, he was Rick? like, oh, Ricky. <laughs> uh, he was, uh, and Jaime were like, oh, well, when he introduced me to you, uh -huh. he was like, oh, he's just the mini you. <laughs> right and i was just like well, what do you mean and then i saw everything and i was like okay yeah kind of yeah like you know, physically like, mini yeah like right? and, and i was just like well yeah but in in this scene mm -hmm. right like putting things together and showcasing what mini tricks are and blah 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 mm -hmm. um but i was like oh that's so cool let you know let me meet them but it was always like you know are these people am i gonna fit in with these people mm -hmm. and all it takes and this is for everyone who who maybe questions going to big shows or questions talking to people that have a different truck than yours. Mm -hmm. All it is is a conversation. Oh, for sure. Hey, how's it going? And yeah, you may either see things eye to eye, you may not. Yeah. But and there's always going to be those those people in this mm -hmm. in in every call it mini trucks, you know, yeah. like whatever whatever it is. There's always going to be those yeah. those uh, those type of people. And I was saying earlier in the conversation, like I'm real. I don't want to give off the vibe like a gatekeeper, like yeah. old head vibe, because I'm like you. I'm very open to everything. Uh -huh. I want to explore things. I want to meet new people and check out new things. And I think the majority of the people, even in our scene, quote quote unquote scene, that part of it is the the majority of the people are going to be accepting they're going to yeah. cool is cool yeah you know if you see this dump static drop truck with a motor swap you're gonna be like yeah. that's cool Why you know not? yeah there's going to be the guy like oh it should be bagged or body yeah. dropped and of course there's going to be like a little ribbing here and there you yeah, know I mean, but listen, for the most part people we, are going to be down we, for it we all talk can, smack about other things mm -hmm. and that's okay and you, and you and you can and you naturally fall into this thing where like um, if you get into a bigger club or if you do like what we do on YouTube, you know, I've constantly people come up to the booth and like, Hey man, I just want to say, ni you know, nice to meet you or whatever. And, and, and you're, they're talking to you in a weird way. Like that I'm that, cause I'm still, even though I've been doing this YouTube thing for a long time, I'm in a bigger club. I've been throwing a show. Like I'm still kind of quote unquote, like timid mm. to certain people. Yeah. And then, so when people act like that to me, it's really weird to me. So I mean, listen, before before I met you, I was like, well, he's big time, man. I got I gotta <laughs> I gotta figure out hey. how, I, how I get there first. Even from my perspective, like getting into the scene and being in a smaller club mm -hmm. for so many years, I was the same. I was the same way. I would look at the bigger clubs and you know people in it, and I would be intimidated. Yeah. And it's funny to hear Brian say that that he feels that way too because I figure I look at Brian as like in the yeah. upper echelon of, of everything. I, I you know? still and I still feel that way now, even when I look at people that haven't been doing this as long as I have or or whatever. That's just the type of person that I am. And I think like again, you just fall into these roles naturally. Mm -hmm. Some people do it, some people are just kind of weird or jerks or whatever, but yeah, I don't know. It's just you just I think there's always going to be a type of you people. You are, you're, or you're, you're, you are like that, or you are like a, a important person or at a bigger club, but you don't realize it. Like sometimes I just don't realize oh, what it is. I see. Yeah. Like, and then that's kind of, you know, I've, I've, I've and this is not again to my own home, but it's just like, you know, I've heard like, oh well, you're the reason we come out, you know, because you're bringing all of us together that's in a cool. sense. And I was like, that's really cool to hear because mm -hmm. you're just like, well, I just. I just want to see mini trucks. Yeah. That's, you just want to hang out with your yeah. friends. That's, that's why I'm here. And, yeah, exactly. And, and not for any other reason. Like the reason why I, I made the brand was just because I want to show showcase cool shit. Yeah. And that, that was it. It was like anyone can do it. And, 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 and again, all it takes is, it's just an introduction, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, it's just hanging to, out. go up to the guy that owns that cool truck that you admire. Cause mm -hmm. that conversation may lead for you to have ideas for your truck mm -hmm. or go, go up to the club that, that, that you like the way they do things or, you know, whether it's still better, whatever it is mm -hmm. and figure out what they are doing and where they do their stuff. Right. You know, mm -hmm. like one thing that I, I, I dislike, and this is not, I'm not going to mention any names. It's like, sometimes we, we try to gate, keep shit yeah like oh yeah. i'm not gonna tell you my source yeah or, you know things of that nature where it's like mm -hmm. eh, why not yeah exactly you know? i mean like i i'm that way with like screen printing you know yeah. like a lot of screen printers come up to me and a lot of the time you think like uh if someone came up to me and said hey man i want to learn about screen printing yeah and i would be like well no that's what i do why would i tell right, you right. but and same thing even with this even with our mm -hmm. brands and stuff like people come up to me and say hey i need advice doing this mm -hmm. 
I am like you. I'm like, yeah. we'll talk, we'll talk about it. I'll yeah. tell you, you know, I'll try to help you out. I'll tell you everything I know and try to point you in the right direction. Yeah. Sometimes I, I do it to a fault actually, <laughs> but, but you know, but that's, I think that's a really great attitude to have in this whole and, thing. And I mean, we because have it, these conversations. It, it gaps bridges, yeah. you know? And, and people, well, that, are, and, go ahead. and if, if someone's going to ask you a question, like I get it all the time too, about camera equipment or about this kind mm-hmm. of same thing as you guys, if you don't answer the question, that person's going to figure it out anyways. Oh yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah, there's so, enough information you know out there. I mean, like, yeah. and then they're going to remember when that person gets to a certain point. Like, say if someone asked me about um, uh, cameras and how to use them because they wanted to start a YouTube channel and start filming, I'm going to give them as much knowledge as I can because hopefully, you know what I mean. Like, they can take that and then yeah. jump ahead. Like, get get to that point faster. If mm-hmm. I don't, if I'm a if I'm a jerk to them and then they figure it out, they're always going to remember. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, for exactly. sure. And yeah. you, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm sure if I've rubbed people the wrong way at some point. I mean, yeah. I, I mean, that I, just happens naturally. It just happens, but yeah. it's no, I'm, it, it has never been my intention to rub anyone away. I, mm-hmm. I mean, you know, you look at, oh, it's, you know, people may say like, oh, it's custom live for Grinder TV or Mini Truck Revival. I was like, look at my truck, man. Mm-hmm. It's a 1978 that does not run. It's sitting in the garage <laughs> and it's not even lowered, right? Uh-huh. So that's. That's me. I'm not making. I'm not getting rich off of this. This right. is just for for this to allow me to go places. Yeah, I mean and, that's and, and be you. You and I share that. Like that's just the only reason I started doing mm-hmm. what I do now is because I was going to these things anyway. Mm-hmm. I might as well figure out how to to get yeah. paid while I'm doing it. You yeah. know, and so and that and I've said earlier is like that is how most great companies are built is organically. If you started, if you decided like one day, like I'm going to start a page and I'm going to make it huge and I want a mm-hmm. brand and I want, you know, like if you have that kind of mentality, I think mm-hmm. maybe they'll probably achieve it. Cause you know, it's an, it's, it's something that can be achieved, but it lacks authenticity. Mm-hmm. It lacks soul, yeah. you know? And so like well, with that, you, and that, that, and that affects the longevity of your, of your, Oh, for sure. Oh yeah. yeah Cause and eventually and, people will see right through that. And, and, yeah. and you guys have brought this up like the, the whole, uh, reposting thing mm-hmm. uh, which i agree and i disagree mm-hmm. right? yeah i want to i want to hear your thoughts you on know, that because for example i can tell you that i've taken a bunch of pictures at uh, this past two three years that i've gone to shows mm-hmm. and i posted almost zero yeah uh-huh. but i'll repost something that somebody sends me mm-hmm. or something that i find really cool and it's not necessarily like oh i'm just reposting mm-hmm. like Obviously, if it's like something from you guys, then I'll tag you and say like, this is where it's from. Mm-hmm. Usually you guys have your watermarks or whatever it is. But like, if I see something cool online and, and, and it's a mini truck, I'm just going to share it. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's because I want people to see it. Right. Not I think that's, that's different though. That's, that's just, that's what the internet's kind of meant for. Yeah, Social yeah, media yeah. is meant for, but you know what we're, what we're talking is more of just like a, like an edit that we made or, or what, or just sharing something that, um, without giving the credit right, right. or, no, and, and I or, com- completely understand where you're coming from. And yeah. then that's, it, it happens. Mm-hmm. I'm sure. Like uh, even my own pictures get reshared. I don't watermark my stuff cause it's just a iPhone picture that I took at a really awkward angle probably, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> yeah. you know, cause it was literally me, yeah. uh, at shows because it's like, I'm going to close my booth for like 10 minutes and I'm just going to go take pictures yeah. mm-hmm. and it's me just holding my phone and going, Mm-hmm. as i walk through <laughs> right and that's it i was like if it comes out good it comes out good if it doesn't yeah. then oh well yeah. uh but you know again it, to me at least in in my perspective it's just showcasing other people's work mm-hmm. um there is times where you see something cool but it has like you said there's no credit mm-hmm. i'll still share it that's uh, yeah, that, and that's the person that took that photo. That's their own fault, right? Mm-hmm. And it, uh-huh. and and there's a big difference between like what you're saying, like walking around a show with a phone or a camera real quick. Like mm-hmm. that's that's totally different than like someone spending time on something. And and the only like I would love when people share my photos, yeah. and I like I like when sh- people share the videos and stuff too. There's just a way to do it and a way not to do it. Right. Right. I had to like kind of like come to a conclusion with that myself because. And I'm like you said, you can only talk about things from your perspective is me going to shows. I, I spend money, I spend money on gas, on hotels, on getting to the shows and spending literally weeks doing all this stuff to gather this content, to come home, to curate it, to repost it. Mm -hmm. And (laughs) I'm going to try to put this delicately. Like when I see someone who is just like have, they have a page and they just kind of scour Instagram and they're just grabbing photos and reposting them. And you just seeing their followers go up and up and up. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like, 
not discourage, maybe discouraging is the right word. I don't know what the right word is, yeah. but it's like, damn, he's like, I just put all this, you know, yeah. time and effort. Yeah. So, but now I'm realizing, and I, we talked about this on a previous episode is I am understanding that that fills a different space. Yeah. So a lot of the, the ones that there are these nefarious ones that, mm-hmm. that do it, I guess, quote unquote, the wrong way or however you want to say it. Yeah. But a lot of these guys, they're just finding pictures on people's personal pages. So these people who have these personal yeah. pages, they're stoked. They're just like, oh my gosh, I can't believe this really page cool. is like yeah, showcasing yeah. what what I'm that's, doing. So it, it took me a minute difference. to understand that. That's the biggest difference. You just said it right there is they're going to personal pages. Mm-hmm. But, you, they're but not, you, They're not going to like... A photographer's page, or they're not right. going to a business. Well, like page. I said, there's like, a, there's like I said, there's those nefarious ones that yeah. do that. You know, oh, yeah, and that's yeah. like going to like Roadster Shops page, and then and then just taking something of theirs and just mm-hmm. I don't know. It's 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 just a di- it's just the way you, you go about it is is mm-hmm. is it. And then another thing that maybe this can kind of like lighten that 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 perspective is I have found sometimes that you know. I'll see somebody struck them on my feed and I was like, Oh, that's cool. They did something there. Let me share it. Mm-hmm. Literally. I don't know, maybe a minute later, the other page shared it too. Oh, I but see. it can possibly be because they saw it too. Right. Right. And, and I like to think it, I like to think of it that way. Not so much like, Oh, they got it from my page. Mm-hmm. So for example, yeah. and this is, I'm going to use a particular uh, brand, uh, a mini truck takeover. Mm-hmm. They post really awesome stuff. Mm-hmm. And sometimes I do see it on my feed, but sometimes I do see it on on, on, on his feed as already posted. Mm-hmm. I'll share from his feed. Oh, I see. Because I was oh, like, oh, okay. well, it's cool. It's there okay. already. So let me just yeah. share it. And yeah. and I forget his name, but he's a really cool guy. Mm-hmm. Um, and and again, it's 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 not so much you know like a, a battle mm-hmm. in a sense. Like content is content. And people oh, are gonna for do sure. it yeah, the right sure. way, the wrong way. Uh, and and you know it's unfortunate that sometimes people do it the wrong way Mm -hmm. but maybe to them it's not wrong right you know or yeah yeah like i said it's just like you know what we're we're through this whole process and i guess journey is a way to put it it's like you're constantly learning stuff Mm -hmm. like you're constantly Mm -hmm. learning stuff you're constantly evolving and you're constantly just like understanding things you know where some things have bothered me before now i'm trying to put it in a different perspective and kind of understand it you know well like even it's just it's just those small it's the small fraction of people that do it to promote themselves. Yeah. And the, yeah, they might not be doing it like to them. That might not be wrong. That might just be the only way that they know how to do it. Mm-hmm. That's true. But, no, yeah. yeah, that's a good point. But they have to realize if they're going to do, if they're going to ha- do this as a job, they have to realize that, okay, I have to go and create content as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or I have to, if oh, I'm going to share, mm-hmm. if I'm going to share this, I'm going to have to go through the proper steps to do this mm-hmm. but if you're just doing it for fun then it's totally different and and most i would say 98 percent of people are doing it just for fun it's the two yeah. percent that are just they they just they leave a bad taste in your mouth yeah. and you're just like ah but you can't mm-hmm. you can't let that two percent like spoil everything else. right and we're still like i've said many times before we're still like in the wild west of this whole mm-hmm. thing like there's no rules there's no rules. No, no, no. There's no, I guess now we're developing maybe like an etiquette. Like I think there's well, definitely there's an rules, etiquette, though, that, but there's, there are rules. That's the problem. Like unspoken mm-hmm. rules, I guess. Yeah. Though there's not unspoken rules. There's professional rules and unspoken oh. rules. No. And if you're going to mm-hmm. get it, if you're going to get into this and make it a thing and sell products, then you have to like follow those rules. There's and there are unspoken rules and there's also spoken rules that are completely a legality yeah. thing. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. You, you so, know what? That reminds me of a of, of something that happened to me at some point. Again, not mentioning any names. Somebody wanted to uh, put my logo on on a design. And oh, I've had that. Yeah, I've, I've when, heard that before. When mm-hmm. I saw the design, I was like, "That's somebody else's design." Oh, uh, mm. I, I can't. You yeah. can't put my logo on that. Oh, uh, I see. Because <laughs> lega- legalities, right? Yeah. And I was like, that's somebody else's design and somebody else that I know. Oh, wow. Right? So I was just like, that's not okay. Yeah. And I was like, you can do whatever you want. Just don't put my logo on it or anything yeah, that has to yeah, do with yeah. me. And, and, and it was those type of things where even after they try to change the design, 
and it was a different design that I knew the design. And I was like, dude, like, what are we doing? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, that, this that's is crazy. Well, I think that's the wild, wild, like Frank was saying, that's the wild, wild west part. Mm-hmm. And it's also, there's so many people that don't know. Mm-hmm. So it takes people like how you told that guy, like, hey, no, this is not right. Yeah. It takes... It takes getting told it's not right because yeah. if I oh, was yeah. a brand new, mm-hmm. and, if and I was some, some some guy and I was just starting out, yeah. I'm gonna just go and start sharing a bunch of stuff, and yeah. I'm gonna have people tell me like, "Hey, this is how you do it." And yeah, then, mm-hmm. and now I'm gonna be like, "Oh, there are rules to this, so yeah. now I got to figure it out." Yeah. So, and I even had, all, I think it was like my first design. Uh, somebody in Thailand started posting it as oh, a really? sweatshirt, and I was like, "I've never even made that into a sweatshirt," <laughs> you know. So, yeah, I, and, and I was lucky that I was able to contact the page and like mm-hmm. take it down and all that. Mm-hmm. But it's just like I. I and I think uh, one person that's really good about uh, about doing that, I can't recall his name right now, Loyotas, the guy that runs Loyotas oh, okay. uh-huh. and all those different uh, mm. pages. He'll post people that are stealing designs. Oh, yeah, and, I've seen oh, that. Yeah, 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 and I've being seen fraudulent. That. <laughs> yeah. Um, which is, there's, I was like, there's, those, there's, there's websites where yeah. you can, they'll just, you just put up a design, they'll make the t shirt, they'll sell it. You never see this shirt. Either. Yeah. I, I always that. actually like wanted to order one of those just to see the quality because. They've ah. taken my designs and put them on a T-shirt, and I'm like, "You got that on the internet? That's a low, low, yeah. low quality right. image." So like, how I, do they I really hands? actually, want, I want to see this T-shirt just to see what it looks like. <laughs> and, yeah. and, and, and ever since, actually, whenever I post my designs, there's there's a, a very vague mini truck revival logo in it. Oh, okay. Like very like clear, yeah. Very, yeah. But I don't know how to do that on like Photoshop or anything. Uh-huh. Like, I just do it on an app. And I put it there so if you like darken the image or lighten it, you'll be able to see it. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah. So I try to kind of like block it that way. Yeah. Uh, That's a good idea. But even then, like, I don't make my own designs. Mm-hmm. I, I outsource them from people all over the world, really. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I'm very specific when I reach out to these people as like, okay, I'm buying something from you. You're selling it to me the minute that you that I pay you, it's yours. And that you, it's mine. Yeah, I've had and to explain that to people too. I need you to clarify too. that. Yeah, on this yeah, I've had to do chat that. or in this email. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, well, I'm, most, and most of the time, if you're dealing with someone that's doing it again, um, that does it over and over again, say not even maybe for a living, but does it in a professional manner, then they they should know the, the again they should know the rules of how yeah. that works. Mm-hmm. Or like mm-hmm. one of my biggest things is also don't share the the design. Because I'm not gonna post yeah. it till later. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh, I see what you're yeah. saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's For the artist. My, yeah, that's one of uh-huh. my biggest things. So I was like, they, a, lot, a lot of times they post right away, mm-hmm. and I'm like, hey, I'm not ready mm-hmm. uh, to post it. So you know, I'll do that. And same thing, like I've hit you up about printing, mm-hmm. and, and you've given it to me straight. But I also live in downtown LA. Oh basically. yeah, you have yeah, accessibility so I have to get it. The accessibility yeah. to get uh-huh. you know things, and I don't have to travel to get it or anything right. like that. Mm-hmm. And I've gone through several different uh, print print uh, print shops, mm-hmm. um, and and currently I, I like the one that I'm with. But it's like even that, you know, like I get people asking me all the time, like, "Oh, you should do a pin on my truck," or you know, like you should put my truck in a you know in a design. And yeah, that's all good and dandy. But at the end of the day, I'm still running a business, and uh-huh. I need to make sure that it's gonna be lucrative, right? Right. Uh, mm-hmm. Or at least pay for itself, mm-hmm. right? Um, and or like oh make my truck into a pin i was like okay right now i can't make it f- for myself mm-hmm. do you want to purchase it and i can make it for you oh i see and then once they get needy and gritty into the numbers yeah they're then like, they're oh, like oh yeah never mind <laughs> yeah and they're like well why is this so much well design mm-hmm. size quantity you that name goes, it yeah that goes back to what you're saying about like getting into it and really not knowing a, the the whole I guess story behind mm-hmm. it the whole thing behind yeah. it is like someone wants to just like that example right there someone wants to start a brand or get something done and it's a great idea but you know once once they start understanding the process behind it and the same thing goes for like social media mm-hmm. or doing photos or and video that, or and, and that's why you can't be rude to people too when they're when they do make a mistake mm-hmm. like an uh, a, a quote-unquote unspoken rules or legality mistake whatever mm-hmm. it is because you don't know where they're at in their career right, of this. right. yeah yeah you don't you know, know yeah you don't know where what what part they're in they, they yeah, could be in the part like, where they just don't know anything yeah i remember there was a kid that made some stickers for a, co- a company that i'm not going to name who it is and that company has a large uh following on facebook and they literally sent their their people after this kid oh and yeah they, yeah and the kid was just like look i'll i'm not going to do it i just thought yeah. it was a cool name i yeah. thought it was a cool thing and i'm gonna make a sticker at home of it mm-hmm. and now he's got hundreds of people sending him messages like yeah 
you're a piece of, sh- you're this, you're that. And it's like, that's not how you handle those situations. Right. Now, right. if you, if you ask the kid like, Hey, that's my company, my logo, my thing. Uh, you can't print it. Mm-hmm. And he goes, F you, I'll do what I want. Yeah, yeah. Now. Yeah. 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 Now you've opened the floodgates, but at the same time, we all have to be, you know what I mean? Like, uh, we have to be nice to people and right. like figure out where it's going before we just jump the gun. Um, let's talk about your truck. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. Let's okay. talk about your truck. Tell it's us all not, about it. It's not. It's not much, man. It's it's not much. Uh, so I have a 1978 Toyota pickup. Technically Hilux, but they stopped calling them Helix, Hilux. However you say it, don't don't come at me. Mm-hmm. Um, on in '77, uh, and it, it's just a blue long bed, uh, no suspension work done, barely any interior. So you're in the stuff. process. You're in the process of reviving it. Exactly. Ah, exactly. Uh-huh. So it's so, like when they say the the movie title in the movie. Yeah, that was it. That was it. <laughs> that, that was the point. That was the point right, right. there. Uh, uh, I, I did put some wheels on it. Uh, that. Uh, Where, oh, actually, when did you get it? Like, was it a family member's? Did you buy no, it? No, actually. So my first my first mini truck was a 1989 Toyota pickup extended cap. Mm-hmm. Uh, I ended up uh, selling that, and then I got a 2003 white Tacoma from uh, my brother-in-law that I, I, I static dropped and I was driving that out for a while. But for whatever reason, uh, I think it was cursed. I just kept getting into accidents. I remember that. Not like I, fault, I remember following you and then like it was like smash in the front yeah, yeah, and there was like yeah. smash in the back. So I got it uh, total from the front. Mm. Oh, okay. I so swapped it, was... it to a four runner front end. Okay. And then I spun out on the freeway because somebody cut me off messed up the the front bumper and the back bumper replaced those then i broke a lower control arm churning it just snapped off uh-huh. and then i got sandwiched in the freeway and oh that's how gosh. i ended up with a white front end and a green bed uh-huh. man you and you and frank live parallel lives with yeah. these things i swear <laughs> I, <laughs> yeah and then after that I, I you know i put a green bed and i put a a, a forerunner front end again and then I'm just terrified of it. Mm-hmm. So it's just yeah, because you're there. like you're just like don't want to get yeah. it. How's the cab? Is the cab in good shape? Yeah, the cab's fine. Okay. I mean the, the the front part of it, it's it, it's a little crunched, mm-hmm. but uh, we were able to put a new radiator support and all that, so it's fine. It's uh-huh. actually me and Jaime uh, from No Regrets are working out a deal. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> so I can get rid of it, and it's no longer in my in in, in my. Uh, and then driveway. he's gonna wreck it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's, let's hope, hope not. not. Let's, let's hope not. Knock on some wood somewhere. Knock, knock on wood. <laughs> uh, and then I think when was it? Uh, 2020, maybe. 2020 or 2019, uh, I got the little blue truck. Because I've always, I always wanted a either 7278 uh, Helix or mm. the first gen, which was, I think, uh, 69 to 71. The little boxier one. Th- that's the stout, uh, right? No, no, it's, that's, it's oh, the that's one after one. the stout. Oh, well, the stout is actually chunky. Uh-huh. Um, the stout is pre pre sixty eight, I think. Oh, okay, yeah. or six. Okay. So is it? So is it Hilux or Helux? Yeah, I, I know. I know she said both, and, and he also said, "Don't come after me for saying it wrong." So who's saying it wrong? <laughs> people, people, yeah, people will come after you for that. Really? Uh, oh, wow. So for example, my favorite wheels. I also don't know how to say it correctly because uh-huh. uh, I always say it differently. So it's either uh, Watanabe uh-huh. or Watanabe's. I don't know which way is right. Man, it's like that with niche. Is it niche or Nietzsche? Is it niche. Giovanni? Gio- is it um, uh, mm-hmm. en- Enki or like, how do you pronounce yeah. that? Like Enkai. Yeah, I don't exactly. Know. Whatever. I don't I've never it. heard Whatever. anyone say Enkai. <laughs> Listen, at the end of the day, I really don't care. They're wheels. Uh, they're, they're cool. They're, they're good wheels. I mean, I don't know. Ask the expert, Jaime. You know, mm-hmm. he's, he's, I've never he heard. Knows. I've never. I've never heard Helux. So that was the first time I've heard that. I'm, I'm some... sure it's Hilux. Who says Helux? Me, probably. Oh, apparently. okay. Oh, I, I don't didn't know. know if you like heard someone else say that. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, I, I probably did. I don't know. I've been, uh-huh. uh, you know, in well, the. Should past... I just call my truck a surf? Because like in a Australia, surf Helux. But... Yeah, that's Hilux? what they're called in in Australia. Um, a surf. <laughs> no. Uh, he's like, no, no, uh, but you should make your, you should make a Toyota Hilux shirt and spell it H E L U X. Yeah. So cool. again, you know, I don't know. Just cause uh, you want to. And, yeah. and, and even the wheels, I don't know how to pronounce, but they're my favorite wheels. And mm-hmm. I was able to actually uh, get some and have a uh, Jaime refinish them for me and actually make them fit. Cause the hubs in the front don't fit correctly. Mm-hmm. Uh, and they just fit the truck and cool. the plans for it is 
drop it about three inches so I can still load the back of it with whatever I need to load it. Mm -hmm. And just cruiser, uh, coilovers in the front, you know, simple drop in the back and uh maybe a paint job at some point in time that's not cool time soon and that's the um, the style that you're into which is the jdm yes yes so if you go to jccs if you go to anything that has like classic japanese cars mm -hmm. you're see you're gonna see those wheels on datsuns okay like it's a classic wheel um i even have them in my 2013 tacoma oh really yeah i have a three-piece set on the uh, on the 2013 tacoma because it's a five leg oh right on uh that I have vintage that, wheels like that yeah yeah so those See, are three pieces that's on my camry i got a set of uh early 2000s alba banks they're okay so okay. i like taking these like old looking wheels yeah, and putting yeah. them on new cars mm -hmm. <laughs> now some people may think it looks awkward i don't know i don't eh, care a lot of people uh, think a lot of things and then again i have the the one piece on the actual uh truck and then i have a, a set of two just randomly in my garage because i just like hoard them basically. right yeah find a good deal on an offer up and then i and i grab them yeah uh and they're four thousand dollar wheels yeah but i buy them wow for almost nothing yeah um you know it's really <laughs> cool like listening to you because i'm the same way and and i'm just gonna say this but like you're, you're nerding out like yeah. on this that's how i am with mazdas mazdas i love mm -hmm. nerding out on them trim packages different instrument clusters different interior packages mm -hmm. like um i have a, a valve cover that's from an indonesian uh mazda so it doesn't say i, I always forget i maybe I should look this up yeah. so i know but it says something different on top like the the okay. indonesian version yeah. of the mazda and so yeah no, i totally dig it i mean it's like it, it, it's almost like going right hand drive you mm -hmm. know it's like you find the little things that you can change of your truck would I drive a right-hand drive? No, because I'm left-handed and I'm comfortable where I'm at. Uh -huh. um, but it's even that, like, yeah, if I could get something that's different in, J in Japan and mm -hmm. bring it over here, yeah. totally would do it. That's cool. You know, uh, like, for example, for the 89 to 95 Toyota pickups, there's different iterations of the grill. Oh, really? That you can yeah. swap out. There's some from Australia. There's some from Japan that are slightly different. Mm -hmm. And that's a cool thing to have, mm -hmm. right? Uh you know what are uh, some pages that like if i wanted to like find out more about this particular style of truck like what would i check out uh like a uh, like my truck yeah like that jdm japanese um, style um there's not a lot so for example another thing that i do that i've been kind of dipping my toes in is uh making parts for the truck i saw that you're making yeah, the tail yeah. lights so right? i'm making clear all clear tail lights oh, for, cool. for for that <laughs> that's pretty rad 72 78 uh Shout out to uh, Jake Makes because he's the one that makes them for me. Mm -hmm. um, and they're exclusive to Mini Truck Revival, so don't go asking. Oh, that's uh, cool. Uh, sorry. That's, <laughs> hey, that, no, that's pretty rad, man. Uh, that's pretty cool when your brand has like actual parts to go on trucks. And, and, and trust me, it was a process. Uh, I, would I spoke to, to Jaime and Michael about this quite a bit because I was just like, I want to make them for my truck, mm -hmm. but I also don't want to because you have to you have to have create a mold. Yeah. And have to have a clean set of tail lights, which it's you're not going to find them anywhere mm -hmm. uh, unless you find some like uh from thailand but they have a, a like a circle in the middle and they just mm -hmm. look really weird mm -hmm. so you'd um, almost have to find like a set of oem yeah and like I back did. like old stock yeah and i did and the guy that i spoke to uh jake he was like uh, i took a trip to livermore for, for for work and i was able to send it to him um and he was like yeah i could work with these and he basically uh waxed them i'm not waxed them yeah waxed them i don't know is that the right word like like just refinish it, it basically oh, okay. All right. mm -hmm. uh and he was able to create a mold off of it and but he was like i i'll make them for you but you have to buy 10 sets. oh wow. okay and at the time i was like nobody's gonna want to buy this uh -huh. so i was just like i'll just upfront it and i was like okay cool it and you'll figure cheap. it out yeah, and i'll figure, figure it out. out and and i've been lucky enough that that the people with these trucks have been interested um I don't know his real name. I know his Instagram, like JG. He has a, a, a bag. He looks red. Mm -hmm. uh, he was the first one to get him from me. Uh, shout out to him, by the way. That's and, cool. and, and then from there, it was just like, then this other person that I know that has one. And I've kind of just brought them in. They're in Canada now, uh, which is kind of cool. That's awesome. And now I'm working on like making the front trim signals. And then what I did was also uh, the side markers. It has side markers in the in the sides and in the front. Mm -hmm. uh, I took them from a 510 Datsun, and I had to grind a little bit and just put those there because they look better and they're clear. Mm -hmm. um, so just kind of little things like that. That's awesome. Uh, little tiny mods, I guess you can say, not mm -hmm. full-on stuff. And then something that uh, Michael uh, MJB does, he, he makes plates for coilovers for the Tacomas mm -hmm. uh, to just swap your coilovers into a Tacoma. 
those coilovers technically technically fit this helix because it has a subframe and it has cups. Okay. So we had to kind of figure out how to make it all work out. Mm-hmm. And we found out that a couple of people on, on, on YouTube have already done it. Mm-hmm. Uh, so he actually made me some plates. I got some arms and then welded it together. That's and awesome. Put it together. So now we're going to so cool. put coilovers on the front and figure out how, how that's going to work out. And it's just, it's my, my, my type of truck. Yeah. Right. Well, what you're describing is purely and merely that's the mini truck and spirit. Yeah. That's what all of this stuff and, you know, even, you know, building trucks, mm-hmm. you know, back in whenever, you know, whenever your uh, era of truck was mm-hmm. like, that was it. Just figuring out how to make this mm-hmm. thing because there was no parts yeah. for it. So it, like, it, uh, uh, go ahead. Oh, no, go ahead. Sorry. So like a big thing is like upholstery. It's a big thing in the mini truck scene, right? Like mm-hmm. you get your interior done and all that. Mm-hmm. To me, interior is literally get me some Recaros, mm. put them in there. Mm-hmm. Get some nice door panels, and you're good to go. Mm-hmm. Get a nice uh, JDM steering wheel with a nice hub. I'm good. That's that's about as far as my interior is gonna go. Mm-hmm. Um, and the simpler, at least with my style, the better. Mm-hmm. Um, but so that's sort of like the the look for the the, the JDM. Yeah, J- at, at least simpler. mine. I oh, mean, just there's, okay. There's, I see. there's different styles. There's different. A, a common theme on like old school JDM is just you put old school JDM wheels on your cars. Yeah, you're almost uh, like almost kind of like just restoring these things, basically. I think what what a what a cool little truck would look like back yeah. in the days. Okay. Yeah, okay. Because to me that's old school, but mm-hmm. to a lot of people in the mini truck scene, old school's tilt bed, mm-hmm. right? Like bed dancing tilt bed. Yeah, that, but it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. In I would a agree. sense, mm-hmm. right? It's like eighties, uh, late eighties, early nineties. Mm-hmm. That's so I call it tilt bed, mm-hmm. not necessarily old school, because mm-hmm. uh, I think mine would is be technically more old, old school. school. Uh-huh. Um, which is then, weird, because if you were to ask me, you were talking about tilt beds and stuff, which I consider <clears throat> old school. But again, my era, my part of the scene <clears throat> that I, I you know make up, like an old school build to me is simply just a Mazda with a torque down torsion bars and drop blocks on a set of Pathfinders. To me, that's... Like that's, that's, that's a static. Okay. Right? So uh-huh. that's a static truck. Yeah. Oh, no, for sure. Yeah, that, or, you that's know, exactly and, what and it that's, is. And that's, that's the niche mm-hmm. right there. That's the scene, I guess. Mm-hmm. It's a static truck. Mm-hmm. And that's where most of us that are coming in are, are, are at. Then you have stance trucks, which are very different. Mm-hmm. And then you have something like Michael's, which is more like function and form mm-hmm. and performance. Mm-hmm. Uh, so and then you have custom then full custom and then there's so many little different it's yeah it's crazy how i never really thought about just how many subgenres are in you guys there. you guys mentioned it a couple podcasts ago uh-huh. that like how many different scenes or how, uh the different timelines of scenes mm-hmm. uh and i was like literally after the after the podcast i was like well let me write them down let me figure this out yeah uh-huh. and that's kind of the conclusion that i came with like to me, this is how many different styles there is. Right. Well, I, I think another, like another way to put it is just an era, like the era you grew up in. Yeah. You yeah. know that kind of dictates your whole style. Like you have the the <laughs> the mini truck and era guys, the, yeah. the tilt beds uh-huh. and stuff. Like that's uh-huh. the name of their their magazine, and, and yeah. uh, that's their era. Yeah. You know, where me, my era was early two thousands, mm-hmm. big body mods, body drops, big wheels. You yeah. know, so it's just where you kind of came up. Uh huh. And that that's. It. Even now, like you know, the, the 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 kids that are coming into this scene, they're they're picking and choosing where they want to go, right? Which, you know, it's better for us because they'll be around. Mm-hmm. Uh, but my biggest my biggest thing with it is that I want to be able to meet together with all of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, be, you want to bring them, be you, yeah. cool because yeah. that's that's the purpose of the brand. That's the purpose of all these cruises meets that I do. It, it, mm-hmm. It's also the best way to when when people talk about oh the youth or the the this like the only way that people can make a decision on what they actually like is to expose them to exactly. everything. Exactly. Exactly. And, and, and you bring up a good a good point, Brian. It's like a lot of the time will be a money issue, right? Because mm-hmm. if somebody gives me a truck and I just want to be you know a cool mini trucker, I'm gonna torture the shit out of that. Yeah. And I'm yeah. gonna put some blocks yeah. and I'm gonna ride around. Yeah. I yeah. mean, I I did it in the beginning too, and mm-hmm. and that's okay. Now, sometimes what happens is they come into the scene they. They pop off. They're, they're cool, 
and then they find something else. Right. right? And I noticed that too. Like, so the, the few times that I've been to Doc Weiler, even just me being exposed to it, those limited amount of times, I'm seeing like the guys who I saw in the beginning who just had static drop trucks. Mm-hmm. Like there's a, a few guys from like San Diego Yeah, and they come in with static drop trucks and they're rocking them. Yeah. And then they are sort of seeing the scene and even kind of being exposed to Mm-hmm. Again, kind of like what we do, I guess. Well, and then now yeah. I see them bagging their trucks. Yeah. Like I see them on so, Instagram, like now I'll bag in their trucks. And and that, and and I'm going to bring them up because I think I know what you're talking about. It's, mm-hmm. it's a humble minis. Guys. Yeah, humble minis. Yeah, exactly. Hum, the humble minis guys was was that they started with just like static trucks and, and really nice trucks, and then they created this club, mm-hmm. and then they they've gone the more custom, full custom style st- style trucks, and they do an awesome job. They also like super super supporters of, of, our, of our events, mm-hmm. right? But it's it's that. And then you have other people who have come to these events and then they created their own, uh, um, I think there's one now called like New Era, which is sort of like old school era, uh-huh. tilt bit style. Is that the ones from 10. up north? No, that's that's a new trend. New trend. New trend. Oh, new but trend. They're, they're old. Because I, I was like uh, in a couple when I was talking about Doc Weiler, uh, and I said that there was this club there oh, man. from up north. I got the name. I butchered the name completely. Which is fine. It's new so trend. It's new trend. And, yeah. Oh, okay. And, and, and one one of my good buddies that that comes down from there for for all of my events consistently. He was driving more of a static style trucks mm-hmm. back in the days and then he got with new trend and you know now he has tilt bed yeah and, and they're very much it, like a low rider type sort of yeah uh-huh. sort of but but that's the evolution behind it right and they're mm-hmm. super cool guys i've actually gone to uh i can't say the name of his shop a- echo holster something like that oh, i'm not familiar can't say the name of his shop so i went to his shop and actually saw the stuff that he works on mm-hmm. and he's actually more of a classic muscle car oh, builder really? oh. and does mini tricks on the side because that's, that's cool. what he used to do super uh-huh. cool guy new trends uh uh, new minis with the new era magazine the podcast like they're bringing that scene into fruition again Mm -hmm. right um flojos have been amazing supporters of of mine well flojos to me have they've always kind of been in that like kind of like in the middle i mean i've since I've been going to, to mm-hmm. mini truck shows and mini truck stuff, like they've always been around. Yeah. So I've always, uh, they've always, you know, been there, but I've always noticed that they were kind of filling in this gap of like, you know, custom mini trucks mm-hmm. and, uh, and like the old them. school trucks. It was Toys them R- and, uh, uh, Toys R Us. Toys R Us. Yeah. yeah Toys R Us. Us. And then they got lifted, yeah. lowered, uh, mm-hmm. tilt bed style. They got dudes with two Jay Zines in it, you know, mm-hmm. you name it, they have it. And, you know they've been around since the 90s yeah yeah it was always flow hose versus toys r us because they were mm-hmm. all from the same area well you yeah. remember that show that they used to throw back in the day it was uh, uh dangerous toy wait no yeah because there was dangerous toys too right well that no, was a they, club too they were send cal um the show that toys r us through that didn't they yeah co- what was it they yeah they co-hosted co-hosted with, 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 with art of noise and what was it called it was called like they, they like took the two names and they put it together it was like art art of art of, art of Toys. toys yeah so <laughs> i don't know something like that but i remember that show it was like yeah in socal uh-huh uh, so i mean you know you have so many different and now there's so many different pages mm-hmm. that 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 post trucks but uh, new air magazine that sticks to that particular era uh mini truck takes takeover who posts a little bit of everything but mainly full custom stuff mm-hmm. uh Stance and you got mini trucks. Stance mini. That guy has ninety thousand followers. Yeah, that's and, one of my favorite pages on Instagram. And yeah, and, and I talk to him uh, constantly. Uh, he's actually on, he was on the verses with his truck, uh, and you know, like this guy has ninety thousand followers, mm-hmm. and he's posting stance trucks, and that's and he posts a little bit of everything. You have small pages, uh, big pages, middle pages, SoCal minis, uh, Las Troquitas, or something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and I'm sorry if I butcher any of that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Don't worry about it. You know, so it, it, it's 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 so cool to see it grow. Mm-hmm. Uh, is there the drama within it? Yeah, sure. Oh, that's just but any, any scene, always, call it whatever you want. It's the same thing. <laughs> I, I always go back to this. I was in the Honda scene. I was in the Nissan 240 scene. And it was just who has the bigger, you know what I mean? Yeah, uh-huh. The mini truck is in that because... Mm-hmm. It just isn't. It's a little more mellow, and it's a little more uh, welcoming, mm-hmm. I guess. And it's not like who has, you know, the bigger K twenty four or whatever the fuck it is. Mm-hmm. It's because uh, it's like in those other scenes, whether it's the uh, Honda or whatever, it's like those usually like fastest. Like who's the fastest? Who's the loudest? Yeah, who's the yeah, yeah. Um, 
you know, the other muscle car guys, the same thing, you know what I mean? But when it comes to mini truck, we're not racing each other. Yeah. We're not, you know what I mean? Like maybe who has the best, like a louder stereo and depending on which Mm -hmm. part of the scene you're in or, Mm -hmm. or the fat or who can hop the highest, depending on what it is, you know what I mean? But it's usually everyone kind of respects each other more because there isn't like a, a competition to see who wins something. Well, if you think about it, the mini truck scene being born out of like the custom van scene Mm -hmm. And since its inception, mini trucking has always been uh, like a like an outcast type thing. So okay. that's why I feel like it's always been a little more accepting because we're as enthusiasts, we're already on kind of like we're not hot rodders. Yeah. You know, we weren't building hot rods and we weren't, you know, building, I guess Volkswagen's fall into this category too. But, you know, we weren't building race cars. We weren't yeah. building hot rods. We were building this weird vehicle, mm-hmm. doing these weird things to it. Yep. So yeah, as it comes out of being young and rebellious. Well, yeah. But what my point is, is like, of course, that's going to be a more accepting group because they already feel People kind of like outcast, the reason yeah. the reason you get into this is because you're kind of already a little out there. Yeah. So once you find other people who are mm-hmm. like that, you're really accepting of those and, people. And a lot of people are on the same level when it comes to income. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, that's true. That's, that's true. a big thing where, where if you have um, if you're 16, 17, 18, 19 years old, you're getting into mini trucks because you don't have quite a lot like a lot of money. If you have yeah, a lot the, of money, right. you're like. You're jumping ahead to like mm-hmm. whatever it is, and and, and like then hot rods, like, like hot rods, or mm-hmm. um, I mean, not necessarily hot rods. It's hard to it's it's not fair to put that into that group because a lot or of how times about that, like low riders, not even know, low riders. Because a lot cars. of that's, a lot of that's family stuff. You know what I mean? Like uh-huh. Uh-huh. that's true. I'm talking about where there's more bragging rights, where you can where oh, some I guys see. got twenty okay. grand to dump into their truck and mm-hmm. they can take it to the track and and mm-hmm. beat the next guy or whatever. We don't mm-hmm. have twenty thousand dollars to dump into our trucks, so mm-hmm. we're all on that same page. I mean so, or, some people do. So yeah, some, some, people, some do. people do. Yeah, uh, but they're usually the guys that are not in this for the longevity because we right, always like yeah. we, we we tend to sift those guys out and we Yeah, exactly. Them. Yeah. You know, uh, uh, another interesting point I wanted to make about kind of throughout this conversation that I've noticed. We you've been referring a lot to like, you know, the body drop trucks with big wheels and stuff like that as as full customs. And then you talk about like stance trucks on coilovers and stuff, a lot of the same effort and time and money yeah. goes into both of those yeah. things. So, I mean, it, so it, to bag a truck correctly and then to put a truck on coilovers correctly is the same amount of work. I remember mm-hmm. uh, years ago, my buddy, uh, I had a me and my buddy got into our old club together. Like at the time, he had like this little compact car, and I had a S10, and so we got into the scene together, and then you know did stuff, and then at one point he started like kind of really getting into off-road stuff like mm-hmm. like they're called class 14 trucks they're yeah. like toyotas and and rangers and stuff like that okay so he started getting in, into that and at the time i was about to start building my forerunner and uh, i went out to the desert a couple times and he's like showing it to me and i kind of got excited i'm like this is cool and then we started building our trucks together and by the time we were done it was the exact same thing like he had the right. exact same amount of money i did just in going mine. down just well, yeah, one was for racing and one was mm-hmm. just to be bagged, you know, and that's talking about like coilover trucks mm-hmm. too. Just the same amount of work and effort yeah. goes into those, you yeah. know. So I just thought it was interesting that we were throwing around these terms like, you know, full customs versus something that's like static, but it just depends. I mean, you know? yeah, even I mean, if, yeah, if, if it's like bag bodied and then one's just like torsion bars cranked down yeah, or like, yeah. you know, that's a different, knocked out leaf strings. Yeah, yeah, I think sorry. you're talking about like off-road trucks, aren't you, Frank? Like, yeah, no, I was just using that as a, yeah, well, no, no. Well, well no, like you have a, you have, Lower trucks that are on coilovers. Right. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. four link them. And, they're and, notched. They have yeah. like you know. Notch. Michael makes the the parts to to do the front ends. Yeah, like, yeah. there's a uh, yeah, there's almost the same amount of effort mm-hmm. that goes into and both. It's drops. sort of like just what you're into. Yeah, exactly. Well, yeah. If you um, want it to, it's to say, yeah, because if you want it to, to to drive correctly, it doesn't matter if it's on bags or coilovers. Yeah. It has to be set up so you could get down the freeway, especially the freeways out there. So I kind to kind of divert the conversation. Sure. A little bit um, back to Dockweiler and and that and that stuff. Have is there? I know you're in LA, and then you throw four or five events out there in that in that uh-huh. area. Are there other events in other areas, or is it just out there? Uh, no, there's events all over the place. Uh, yeah, because like I, I see all kinds of. I'll be driving down the freeway, and there'll be static trucks. Yeah, it, it's you know. it's it's actually kind of a frenzy now. I mean, they're everywhere. I mean, you got. You, you got a lot of different groups putting on events, which is kind of why, like I mentioned earlier, it's like it's hard to go to go to all these things and, mm-hmm. and support everyone because you kind of have. I sometimes have to prioritize my events versus somebody else's, but there's so many. I mean, you're talking about 
all the old school clubs, they all have their own meetings. You got the council run, the council pick, uh, camp out. I forget what it's called. So wait, so when you say those, are you talking about just mini truck events in general? I think he's talking more events like you. No, I'm talking about like, yeah, like, like the like Doc Weiler type so events. Is, are there more? Is there, a, is there stance mini truck events? Like out in Phoenix, or oh, is there stance oh, mini trucks, see, or do they see, kind of, or do they kind of all come to, like combine together in the stance scene in total, or is there actual uh, like truck guys I'll, get-togethers out here? I like to think that there isn't, not to this magnitude. Yeah. Um, I yeah. think that in in other states that are not near California, because we get people to come to Dockweiler from basically half of the U.S. Um, yeah. I don't think that there there is to 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 this extent. I think yeah, like not in like not in the numbers. Yeah, no, right? I think like, I think most mini truckers in other in other states are probably just going to the local cruise nights, to the local meetups. They're just kind of combining yeah, theirs into yeah. whatever else is I, out there. If it's a clean if it's a clean culture event or if it's a yeah, exactly. Oh, I see. Whatever. Yeah, exactly. I see. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So like you you yeah, have okay. somebody like uh, a good example. His name is Brian. Instagram is like Bolo something. He has a blue Nissan. Oh yeah, um, yeah. Uh, with success the, with the, TC. You, you I, made I put a it pin. on everything. Yeah, basically. you made a pin out of it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so he goes to all these clean culture stance wars, all these different shows, but then also makes the effort to go to Forbidden Fantasy, you name it, and then come out to these local events that are mm-hmm. in San Diego. He's from San Diego. He comes out to Dockwater. He comes out to uh, you know Neptune's Cruise. Uh, but I can tell you that from my experience, and maybe people are not bringing it to my attention. Um, I actually had this conversation with, uh, uh, I can't remember his name, but the guy from Stan's mini trucks, he, mm-hmm. he told me where he, where he's at, which is East. They don't really have stuff like that. Um, I think they, yeah, is it, do you think it's, I, they just have less mini trucks in general yes. in certain parts of the yes. country. Cause like, I mean, I can tell you, like I've been traveling all over for work and I went to New York and I saw nothing. Yeah. You oh know, yeah. Cause I remember we were, uh, I stayed in St. Louis at a buddy's house one time when we were building the Mitsubishi mm-hmm. out there. We were there for a couple of weeks and we needed some parts. Mm-hmm. And so out here in SoCal or on the West Coast or wherever, you can just go get a bumper, like a repop bumper yeah. or whatever. Mm-hmm. We, we couldn't find anything out there. For I it. mean, and, I, and, and, like, and no. I usually tend to, if I'm traveling, uh, I'll post something like, hey, I'm going to be here. Are there any mini truckers? Sometimes I get responses. Yeah. Sometimes I don't. Um, but it's very rarely. I was in northern Florida on Neptune Beach uh, a couple of months back. And I got to meet like two, three mini truckers. But that was it. And I was thinking like, it's Florida. There's right. got to be people out here. Mm-hmm. Now, again, I don't know. Maybe where, they, where is that? Like, where, where is that's that? That's like straight like, tip of Florida. The, the, the bottom uh, or the top? No, the top. Oh, so that's like northern. No, that, like oh, straight okay. northern. Yeah, because I think uh, all the mini truckers who live in Florida are from south, like Tampa. Yeah. Um mm-hmm. Like Orlando, that well, when he's saying when he's saying mini truckers, he's thinking you're thinking more of the stance stuff. No, right? not at all, right. not at all. Yeah, not, see, I, I think oh, I think we're all kind of like on, yeah. the, on different pages here because I, yeah. when you are talking about <clears throat> when you're talking about like his particular style of mini truck, you're thinking stance stuff. When he says mini truck, he's talking about all mini trucks, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I guess yeah, I don't yeah. I don't put him in different different categories, right. but even then, to the specific like stance, static drops, style trucks, I don't think there's big enough uh scenes in 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 outside of the west coast for that but the reason i say like yours that type because if i say just mini truckers Mm. out in arizona there's hundreds of them (laughs) yeah there's a there's hundreds of them so i that's why i'm saying stance 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 specific yeah and and you're 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 kind of right because i remember you you asked me once like hey do you know any stance trucks out in arizona to shoot and i was like shit i don't not Really? Yeah, because mm-hmm. I and then the the few that uh, I knew didn't reply to me. So, so it's very so the the static drop stance style trucks, motor swaps. Yeah. Um, I guess even maybe the tilt bed trucks are very local specific to Southern well, California, the sort west of, yeah. west coast so in you particular. Have, uh, somebody like uh, Colorado Minis out in uh, Colorado, mm-hmm. um, they have a pretty decent amount of of of, of trucks out there, and mm-hmm. I've actually gone up there a couple times. But it was snowing, so they can't come oh, out. Oh yeah, you know? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. so it's it's just a, it, it's almost like there's so it just depends on how many people. Because you go to Colorado, there's uh, four hundred thousand people, right. and so there's only a small percentage of people that's going to drive a truck. Where you go to I, I, Southern California, yeah. and there's 
25 million people. So it's yeah, just, yeah, yeah that's and, true. And the funny it's thing is, though, like, like, I was in uh, Bellingham, Washington, and I saw like three little mini trucks. Not nothing crazy, nothing you know fancy, but I, I saw them and I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Try waving at them. They probably think I'm weird because I was carrying like <laughs> sti stickers on me, uh -huh. you know, but I'm like wearing work clothes and whatever. Yeah. So it's just like, who is this guy? I'm sorry, I don't mean to cut you off, but I have to interject this funny little story. We were coming back from Canada one time. And we were coming down the West Coast and I was somewhere, it was either Southern Oregon or Northern California. And I see this car fly by and it had a, a freak sticker in the back. Oh, nice. I'm like, oh, no way. So I like pull up to him and I'm like trying to get, it was a girl driving. I'm trying to get her attention. She looks at me like same thing, like weird. So I had to like pull, I had my forbidden cup. So I had to pull my cup out and be like, and she's like, oh. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> she's like, okay, cool. Some <laughs> I know it's it's one of my favorite. Uh, the, the one thing I'm more excited about almost than anything when I get this Chevy bagged or whatever, and or my mini truck mm -hmm. back, is because when I'm in my Titan, and I see someone cool driving down the yeah. freeway, yeah. if you don't know what that Titan is, what it, it, people are just like, who is this person <laughs> yeah. like next to me taking a <laughs> yeah. video or something like yeah. that? I mean, but like I, I can tell you, there's little pockets mm -hmm. of of where there is you know stand style static uh mini trucks or tilt bits whatever there's there's little pockets everywhere mm -hmm. um like you know i go to ohio and i've i've i posted it sometimes and they're like oh you know like one person will message me mm -hmm. um i had one person message me message me in uh connecticut but they were, i was like dude i'm already gone like i'm not you know mm -hmm. not around um but you know i think i can do better when i travel to like put it out there mm -hmm. uh to kind of see this different, different, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, if you're talking areas. about mini trucks as the bigger picture and they're not just talking about these dock, I'm just going to, I guess I could just refer to them as dock Weiler style trucks, right? Maybe. Can I we mean, say that? Can we safely say that? I think now. No, anyway, cause I, then now you're part of it. I don't know if you're looking at me or not, Frank, cause I can't see oh. your face. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I don't, you're like doing this whole thing blind. <laughs> I a hundred percent. I'm just like this. Yeah. yeah for Sorry. Sure. There's no, there's no, no it's okay. It's okay. It's um, okay. But I just thought I was like, I wonder if he's talking to me. It's no, you know, what, yeah, my that, reference, you all lean in like this. I just, um, no, but so like, <laughs> I just say stance trucks because it makes it okay, easier. So, yeah, let's stick to that. I okay. That so works. if yeah. you're talking about stance trucks in particular, I think, yeah, you're going to have a hard time. But mm -hmm. me and Brian, we literally travel the country to mm -hmm. all these states. And if you're talking about mini truckers as a whole, there are thousands out there. And you know, yeah, but it, only to the events that we go to. Right. So if, once that event, once that event's over, it's like a little. Oh, that's true. Like, yeah, Boop. that's true. And, yeah. and I think even yeah. even to your point, because I, I see that when you guys travel, like that was kind of a goal for me mm -hmm. at some point. I was like, I'm gonna do what they're doing at some point, and I was like, No, I'm not. Uh, yeah. Definitely it's, not. It's a lot. Uh, it's a lot. <laughs> hey, hey, we got room, man. Hop in yeah, the truck. Yeah, so that's why I was, I, I've always. Uh, hey, that, I tell that, Frank all the that's time. That's true. Yeah, like, we'll, we'll put that Let's that just go. invitation uh, extension out there. Yeah, because anybody who wants to roll with us, we're so, always down to have people roll with us. No, 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 not anybody. Okay, not so the people that. <laughs> but a hundred percent, a hundred percent, you are more than welcome to cruise with us yes, anytime. There you go. So <laughs> no, I, put it I've that been, way. I've been talking to to Michael and Jaime uh, a lot, even though Michael's a dick, um, <laughs> about going to Matrix Nats. And that's what and that's what I, I was going to bring that up at some point. Happen. Like you have to go. Because if I did do that, and, and I think my first time would be just go. Oh, to for go. sure. Yeah, just to go, just and to then experience maybe it. Maybe be like, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a shirt specifically for this event, mm -hmm. and then just take it and be a vendor. There you go. Because uh, I just see it, and I'm like, this is too cool. Oh, dude. To miss. It's it's um, almost hard to describe how just exactly how cool it is. Yeah, and, you know, and, it, like yeah. we talk a lot about it. It almost seems like. You know, um, we're like, uh, I don't know, like fanboying over yeah. it, but it's just truly that good, you know? Yeah. It's like, yeah. 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 So it's a good show. that's, that's kind of like the goal or like, uh, you know, different, di different shows that are on that side. And right mm -hmm. now I can't remember the names of them mm -hmm. for my life, but that was kind of like a goal at a certain point. Mm -hmm. But now what I'm thinking is like, okay, I'm, I'm going to attempt to go to some of these shows mm -hmm. just once I kind of figure out more of the way i'm gonna do things mm -hmm. whether it's just go and and shoot pictures and and kind of blog or just take video mm -hmm. and and make a you know a, a small video of it but dude i'm telling you like it's the i wish we like from my from me my perspective like that'd be so awesome just to yeah. go to a show talk about it and frank, say, frank frank could do that if he would get on an airplane oh well, i'm going to i'm gonna get i'm gonna do i know it. I, <laughs> <laughs> but no but i mean but even from like you know we spent so many years crafting our brand to the way it is that like 
you know, I, I sometimes I, I dream that yeah. myself. Like, I wish I could just go to a show, make a video, talk about it and be like, hey, you like merch? Go yeah. to our website, buy yeah. the merch. I get home, I print yeah. them and I yeah. send them out. And, and I highly doubt that anyone from from my job is listening to this. Um, but I was like, I, I've been kind of figuring out because I have to go to Florida and I mm-hmm. have to go to uh, D.C., and and different parts of, of of the states and i'm like how do i make it work so when i'm there for work there you go i can just drive my ass over there yeah, and, and make it happen and that's kind of what i'm curating for mm-hmm. this year where it's like if i can make my work work around some of these events mmm then i'm gonna do my best to make it happen yeah uh you're talking about Oh, oh, sorry, you're talking about the dc area uh there's a club out there called east coast minis in the maryland dc area I'm not even talking about that. Oh, I, I, uh, I've been talking to uh, uh, one of my good buddies, uh, the Roach. Uh, oh he's, yeah, yeah, he's yeah. out there. Oh yeah, yeah. He's I see. Like, yeah. It's so funny. I see him every year at yeah, Dockwiler. Yeah. He's always there. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's always, always there. there. He always he's, says what's up. He's dude, a cool like, dude. He, he amazes me because he he's such a big supporter of, yeah. of of all of us. Oh, for sure. Yeah. And he comes out here. And he does what I'm trying to do. He's like, well, I'm gonna be over there for work. Uh huh. So I'm gonna make it kind of work said, for me. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, that's crazy. Yeah. But okay, yeah. you know, and and you know, he's like, dude, just come, you'll stay with me, and then we'll go to mini nets. And I'm like, maybe yeah. if I can make it work, maybe let let let's let let's do it. But it's kind of like like that, where it's mm-hmm. like, yeah, well, if I can make it happen, uh, later, dude, uh, then I'm gonna do it. And and because I lo- I, I lost a lot of the kind of like the love for it when I was doing the vendor thing mm-hmm, mm-hmm. because yeah. it became tiring. It, wor- it, it was work. <laughs> Cause it was work. And I was just yeah. like, I, I don't, I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, you just don't get, you just don't get the same thing. Yeah. That's kind of where I've been. That's where I, my head space has been a little mm-hmm. bit too. And that's why I'm it, it, super, super stoked to get to get a truck so I can actually you feel like it. participate. You feel it. Yeah, not not participate in a show, but just participate in being yeah. a part of yeah, the yeah. show. Uh, we had a uh, at Dockweiler, and I don't know where he lives. We had Body Drop there this. Oh year, yeah, yeah. Which I was like, I don't know where that guy where that guy lives, but uh, everywhere. <laughs> but like he came he came all the way over here. I was like, that's pretty cool. Uh-huh. Uh, and and you know like you know things like that are what what would uh, make me happy when it's like i'm bringing new people in just to check it out yeah now they may like it or not like it i preach i preach that show all the time like yeah. when people ask me about events i always tell people like you got to go check out this event yeah. you know like even like people in our club or other clubs uh-huh. like when i'm traveling or like i'm in arizona or yeah. something like i'm always telling people like you got to go to this event and check yeah. it out because like it's such a it's almost like refreshing you know to kind mm-hmm. of see how how there's this other thing that exists you and, know and, and it's just it's just there. It's not, mm-hmm. you're not coming for the trophies. Mm-hmm. You're not coming for anything, but just to be there with your buddies. And, right. and you know, I'm, I'm going to forget names and I'm going to forget clubs, but it's like, ever since I started the brand and going to these different, different shows and meeting you guys from forbidden, you know, uh, no regrets. Like now we see them at, at my yeah. little events and, mm. and it's really cool. And that's really cool. Cause that's just, that's the goal, mm-hmm. I guess, right? Because we have a little bit of everything, and this is not to say like, oh, I just want all the full custom custom builds to come out here or the big no, clubs. yeah, you know, you want everyone. I want everyone yeah. because it, it, it from there, people that meet, they may come into Forbidden Fantasy. Um, you had a what was his name? He was in uh, Humble Minis, and then he went to you guys. Oh, Poochie, Poochie, yeah, that's my guy. Yeah, yeah, for and sure. He, you know, he went through the through the different stages mm-hmm. uh, and then he made it into you know your club mm-hmm. and and there's so many things of that nature like you know my, uh, some of my best buds are Jaime and Michael two different scenes me myself was just like stand alone with the brand mm-hmm. um, but we can we're friends mm-hmm. right and then that's kind of where the, the number one goal for not number one goal but a big portion of what for me, what I do is I go to these things to hang out with my friends. Yeah. You know what I mean? I go to travel to all these places. Like when I can travel to the other side of the country and hang out with people and feel like I see them all the time mm-hmm. is really, is really cool. And that's like one of the huge benefits. Yeah, like you're and, just and, hanging out with your friends. And that's kind of what I 
kind of lost a mm-hmm. little bit where it's like it just became work work yeah because you're like in the hustle and getting yeah, into going and, I was just yeah. like, uh, and then sometimes maybe even that comes out mm-hmm. when i'm there which is i mean I, I may look a certain way but i'm not i'm, I'm very friendly uh-huh. and, oh. and, and, and very uh, uh-huh. uh you know talkative but sometimes a- approachable yeah and, and sometimes you know you're going on two hours of sleep and you're like well, yeah <laughs> you want to buy yeah. that shirt or not guy yeah like, not, not not really i don't know no, hopefully no, i, I didn't come I off like it. that to anybody yeah <laughs> but it's like it, it 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 became so much work that i was just like i don't want to do it like that anymore let me let me see where i can fit my life and this and make it work so i'm not because i've had moments where i was like i don't want to do this anymore mm-hmm. like, forget doc weiler forget yeah. all of this I don't want to do it anymore. I just mm-hmm. want to chill. Like, yeah. But then I'm like, it's too cool not to. Right. Um, also, I don't want anybody else doing it. So uh, <laughs> you don't want anybody to like in, to get you know, in on your space. Uh, I kind of have that uh, with the Forbidden Show. Yeah, and and it, it, because I'm proud. Oh yeah. Oh I'm no, being, you yeah. put a ton of work into this brand, into this whole thing. Yeah. No, definitely. And sometimes I think about it because I'm just like, well, it's just a meetup, dude. Like people just show up and doesn't mm. really require work because literally it's like wildfire Mm -hmm. so i'll post the date and i'll post the artwork and somehow some way it reaches people who i don't even know oh that's cool so it's just like it just spreads and then people show up and i'm just like this is the year that we're only gonna we're gonna go back to a hundred trucks but no (laughs) we we, we stay yeah yeah we stay consistent (laughs) on, on filling up the parking lot yeah and or like this is the year we get shut down because and this year actually it almost happened yeah it was pretty there was close so much drama yeah and uh you know and, and this is not to like it, it takes a lot of work to do this oh for sure and and brian i'm sure you know because you're actually dealing with full events and, and and you dealing with the brand and like vendors and inventory and mm-hmm. there's so much work behind everything that we do mm-hmm. that maybe to some it looks easy but man it it's, is eh, that, i know it that. is work oh i know, know that dude and, for and, sure and it's cool to have people to to rely on but i'm a very i'm a very like this is the way i like it mm-hmm. so this is which, yeah, the, <laughs> ask frank about me and, and our show it's yeah <laughs> and, it, and, it, and, and that's brian, why well, brian says goes we do it there you go and that's why i usually write solo mm-hmm. now yeah i have a lot of good friends and I have a lot of good uh, people that I talk to that I hang out with. Mm-hmm. But when it comes to my specific stuff, mm-hmm. like just, just do your thing. I'm going to be right here mm-hmm. and, and I'll do mine. And, and this is not to like say like, Oh, I don't want any help or I'm too good for your help. It's just, I like it a specific way. Yeah, no, that's, uh, I totally get that, you know, but it, ever since, and uh, you're talking about this from the, perspective of your brand and throwing the, the meets yes yeah yes because mm-hmm. even even the end of the year meet it's a specific uh type of meet that i want to have it's mm-hmm. underground it's very like japan tokyo drift type, type yeah. underground you know it's in, it's in a parking garage and it's it because i'm creating experiences i guess uh-huh. it's what it is the cruise is like its own thing oh yeah it's for like sure location 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 mm-hmm. and that creates its own little uh scenery mm-hmm. doc weiler is just kind of like a crazy show because mm-hmm. it's just to me there, uh, yeah well there's all sorts of stuff but going on th- the experience is you get to just hang out mm-hmm. and see awesome mini trucks yeah and that's the experience mm-hmm. so it's not so much like have i thought about like oh maybe i can make a show out of it mm-hmm. sure doc weiler won't allow it mm-hmm. um, they're the actual place yes mm-hmm. uh have I ever thought like oh maybe i should make a sh- throw on a show Yes, there's a whole lot to go on mm-hmm. it, and in LA, that's oh, virtually yeah. impossible. Uh-huh. Um, so, you know, now I'm just kind of getting back to like I have my truck, I like to drive it. Uh, cruising on uh, rolling on the Red Rocks was like eye opening. Like I want to get back to driving yeah. my truck and and cruising. Now, mm-hmm. am I gonna go to Utah in my truck? No, <laughs> won't make it. Uh-huh. Uh, but getting back to why I started doing it, right. You know, uh, and and that may mean that the brand doesn't expand the way I wanted to, but that's okay because mm-hmm. now I'm just gonna at least do what I like to do, right? And uh, you know, and, and that's just really hang out. Yeah, uh, yeah. The, all you want to, the whole thing is just want to yeah. have fun. Yeah, exactly. You just want to have fun and and do what you do. And the second it stops becoming fun, you you have to be like you have to adjust. You know. Yeah, I mean, and that's the biggest. That's the that's the hard. It's the hardest part is balancing mm-hmm. everything, and then as you 
get older or as you go through different things in life or as you, whatever you do, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like, it's just a balance. Like, oh, I'm going to, like Frank goes through the balance of family and kids and yeah. softball and then, and shows. And then I went through my balance of moving to Phoenix and doing all these mm-hmm. things. And like, it's all a balance and you have to just make sure whatever you're doing, you might be unhappy for a minute, but mm-hmm. as long as in, in, in the end you're happy. Oh, for sure. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Yeah, exactly. And then, mm-hmm. you know, like for example, this year for the end of the year, me, uh, we're hoping to have it where we have it and then have a little cruise through a six uh, bridge Oh, so the Sixth new Street Sixth Street Bridge? Bridge? Uh-huh. Hopefully. I don't know. Uh, people just keep making chaos there. Yeah, so who I knows? know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just don't stop on the bridge. <laughs> exactly. But right. now getting to people to do that is going to be a whole different story. Right, right. But then yeah. also, uh, I used to work for a company where we did a lot of uh, a, lo- a lot of uh, community service. And we have, I have the chance to now do like kind of like a toy drive for a specific nonprofit. Uh, it's called uh, Miriam's House. Mm-hmm. And... Now I'm doing a little bit of what I, I like doing with my work, mm-hmm. just, you know, for a cost. I guess. Right. Yeah. Give it back. So that's why we made, you know, the stickers with the Christmas stuff and then kind of hosting it where bring a toy. So it benefits this, this home. Mm-hmm. Um, and I like the fact that I can implement that to this because mm-hmm. it brings. When is the end of the year? Uh, December 18, Sunday, 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Um. I think that's that's the one I was talking about coming to last year. I didn't I didn't make it out. And yeah, yeah, yeah. It's bring a toy. Uh, if you don't bring a toy, don't show up. Uh, no, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, uh, for sure. But it's for it's for yeah. an awesome cause. Yeah, uh, and, and it benefits. What if you bring a Toyota? <laughs> are you, you giving it to him? Are you, are you? And you're like, oh, you didn't bring a toy. You're like, no, I'm driving. There you go. <laughs> no, you should listen. You should. Uh, I don't know where where you are at with it, but definitely Doc Weiler is waiting for you when that's ready. Yeah, man. You um, got to bring your, when, when you get the Toyota put together. Uh, and hey, you, you know, know what though? Like even, and correct me if I'm wrong yeah. and you can correct me, but even if you have like a full size, it don't matter. Come on down. Right. Yeah. Cause no, I, I know it doesn't matter, but like, you know what I was talking to you about Frank the other night about this thing that I want to start doing. Oh, uh-huh, yeah. That's Doc Weiler's on mm-hmm. my like map of, of that yeah. whole thing. And, and well, uh, the reason I say that is because a guy in our club, I, I'm always telling our, my club, our club, come on, just just roll out, roll out. Yeah. And we have a guy with a full size Chevy. He's like, oh, it's a mini truck event. It's like, dude, just roll, just Don't go, matter. just have fun. It doesn't matter. There's always full sizes. I mean, there was that weird tractor. Oh, that, thing. yeah. Uh, <laughs> it was like an international, you know, uh, like, yeah, big old big rig thing. Yeah. And and yeah. there's no rules. There's no, no rules. and you know you know what's cool. About Except for the rules at the beach, you got to follow. Yeah, those. follow the rules at <laughs> the beach, guys. Follow those. <laughs> Well, those don't say no fun. Okay, that's true. I think somebody, I think somebody <laughs> got a ticket this year around because you know after I told them they didn't listen, but who mm-hmm. knows? Maybe they didn't. I hope they didn't. Uh, I almost got a ticket uh, for the vendor booth. Oh yeah, which that's is right. crazy yeah. to me. But I was like, yeah. all right, cool, whatever. Uh-huh. Uh, but there's like Doc Weiler's even a. It's it's almost like an like a full size event show, because now. It, we're we're even a hashtag it's it's doc weiler prep oh yeah so okay. everyone preps yeah. for doc weiler yeah. and it's like it's you know like new trends shows out comes mm-hmm. out from from san jose and they bring crazy amount of trucks and mm-hmm. you're like oh crap you know that like, dude came down in a motorhome with his like triple with, with, triple yeah, axle yeah, triple axle tandem. double double it was uh, an extra extra cab s10 yeah, 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 yeah i think it was crazy i mean that guy just uh, it was mind-blowing to me like you took that trip just to come to this to me, mm. like nonsense event, right? Yeah. I mean, because you think about it, it was like, well, it's it's not a show show. Mm-hmm. And then you have people from Arizona, and you have people from NorCal and Vegas, and you know, like people just fly out to be a part of it. We yeah. have people from Hawaii come out. Yeah, um, that's cool. You know, and shout out to those guys because they re- they do really cool stuff too. Yeah. Um, if you like the stand scene, Hawaii's the way to go too. They they, they yeah. We were talking to those guys at uh, the Chub Show, the guys from Guam. Yeah, the Wom guys do it. They're, they're they're cool dudes. And there's a and bunch of them in, cars. In, in I think Oregon. I might be I might be mis misspoken. A buddy that I had back in the days, he he was uh, from Hawaii. He's the first person I met with a mini truck. Oh, cool. And and he was he was all that, and he was super cool, and like kind of showed me the ropes and that type of type of style. Uh-huh. And that's kind of how 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 I started, and then started seeing um, another person that was kind of like a big uh, a big. Uh, what what would it be? Not idol. I wouldn't say idol, but like uh, Empire Fabrication. Oh yeah, just the stuff that he does, and he mm-hmm. had like this little truck, like 
that was right hand drive, and it was kind of like that. That yeah, that, that and now he's like coach time. building cars. Yeah, and he's yeah. like doing some crazy stuff. Like literally, he and I, uh, I gave him some cash and a and a and a tonneau cover for a notch uh-huh. when I started. Oh, that's cool. He's like, oh, well, give me some cash, give me the 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 soft top or whatever snug top, and then come down and do the do the do the notch at my shop. <laughs> Literally 2 a.m., dude. He's doing a notch on my truck. That's cool. Uh, in exchange, and you know now he's you know yeah way oh, up yeah. there, and he has that that awesome uh, uh, Hilux that he like short in and yeah, it looks yeah, a little the, crazy. Yeah, it's been around a long time, um, and, and it's it's like chopped and short. Yeah, and he and, still has that other little uh, I think like 91 Toyota that he drives mm-hmm. around all the time. Um, so you know, there's been there's been so many different people that I'm like, man, that's cool, mm-hmm. and and even now meeting everybody else it's like that's really cool Mm -hmm. it may not be my style but i like it oh for sure where this i mean yeah hymas truck the fact that he drives it Mm -hmm. anywhere and everywhere the way it looks yeah that's because he's crazy i know um he didn't hear you brian brian said hymas is crazy Uh, (laughs) i'm just jealous He's just jealous. Okay. <laughs> but you know, it's like, like that. Yeah. And, and that's, that's what's, what's kind of cool. And I, and I hope that I can keep doing it and, uh, for years to come. Um, I mean, the fact that we got to 10 years of Doc Wilder that's really last cool. year. That's uh, really cool, man. I was like, man. And every year is the same thing. We're going to get shut down for sure. <laughs> is that, is that like a, is that like kind of a, do you get anxiety over that? Oh, every, every year, man. I'm, I'm literally on edge literally have has the have the who is it it's a it's a city park yeah it's a it's a la state county beach. state beach uh and then they've never so it's, told it's us anything. state state park that runs it sort of no i think it's sort la of. county that runs it is it so it's a county park yeah 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 uh, and, and they and it's right never, it's right by lax yeah so yeah they've they never said anything to you or anything as no the for 10 years out or for 10 years, like they'll come by and, I, and I'll introduce myself like, hey, you know, I'm hosting it. You know, you see anything crazy. Uh, here's my number. Hit me up. I'll give you license plates, mm-hmm. numbers, whatever. I don't care if they're doing something stupid. Um, you know, I'll write them out. I don't care. Mm-hmm. And then once they come, then usually we'll get like black SUVs come. Oh. And they'll come by or like the actual police will come uh-huh. and come by. And, and I'll, again, introduce myself, give them my number, my name. And I'll be like, hey. We do this every year. We're super, super chill. Anybody gets crazy, I'll give you license plates. I don't, you know, I don't care. Mm-hmm. And we we get left alone. So after like eleven, you're good. Nothing yeah. happens. But this year, it was it was literally they they're really big on no canopies on the pavement. Everything yeah. needs to be on the sand. And everyone and their mother put their canopies on the pavement. Yeah. <laughs> and they just came, you know, guns blazing. They're like, hey, are you setting up a booth? You can't do that. I'm ready to give you a ticket. I'm like, oh, shoot. Okay, let me, that's yeah. crazy. Let me yeah. shut it down. And that's where I, I got there and I, and I walk up to, to Victor and he's like, got his booth. And it was kind of cool because it, what it turned into was like, yeah. he had to like let a couple people in at a time shop and then go yes. out. So it became like this like so we really had, we had the panels, secretive thing. <laughs> the panels and then only like two people can go inside the panels of the canopies. <laughs> it was pretty check, funny. Check out what they, what they needed. It was pretty funny. Uh, but, you know, it would, but then it was funny because I think like at noon, they were gone and yeah, they didn't even yeah. come back, which I was like, it, it, you're making a big deal. And then the last guy that came out, he was actually kind of cool. Cause he's like, well, you made the right choice. You have it at the last parking lot. Mm-hmm. You take over the whole parking lot and you're not bothering, you know, the actual people that come for the beach right. and whatever, you know? Uh, Cause that is that their, is that their biggest gripe is that you're is like a special event type thing. Yeah, and that's and, and specifically in the rules it says no gatherings. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, it is posted there, and I do a pretty good job about posting every single panel of rules, and nobody mm-hmm. listens to me. But hey, <laughs> yeah, yeah. whatever, it's usually the way it goes. And, you know, right? the, the the word is like if you get a ticket, it ain't me. The word that it is for the, for the people that come out, uh, the I don't know if park rangers or whatever they are. I'm like, look, I already told them they didn't listen. You want to give them a ticket? Yeah, go that's for on it. you. Yeah, uh, but. It was kind of it was kind of crazy because they did go a little hard this year, and I was just like, "Well, man, maybe this is, this is maybe it. this is it." Um, but the 
the main thing that happens there is I think it gets ruined by other events that happen there. Yeah, uh, yeah, and, yeah. And like well, takeovers I, and you wasn't know. yeah because I guess what set the precedent for that weekend was they had something the day before and yeah. they were given a bunch of problems. Uh huh. No, and I think okay. like two weeks prior was like a somebody had a gun. Oh yeah, something of that nature. Mm-hmm. Um, so it, it's always like walking on eggshells. Mm-hmm. Like the first, the the couple weeks prior to um, this year also was like. Uh, some schedule changes because some other events had schedule changes. So we kind of pushed it. Uh, I like to keep mine very like uniform. Mm-hmm. Uh, so like uh, we'll do Neptune's cruise uh, last Sunday of July. Mm-hmm. Uh, Doc Weller should be first Sunday of October. Mm-hmm. And then end of the year meet should be the last Sunday. Uh, if it fits, obviously uh-huh. this year, yeah, not so was... much because we're doing the toy drive, but um yeah, because usually it's like almost, um, yeah, because wasn't it one time on New Year's Eve? It was like the 29th. Oh, okay. So it was like the weekend before New Year's Eve. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, so we try to keep it uniform and and, 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 and try to uh, kind of keep it the same mm-hmm. time, the mm-hmm. same day, I guess, uh, just because it, it creates that reminder, mm-hmm. you know? And yeah, then, like someone knows like, oh, yeah, this is And dog, I don't really do a good time. job about like posting the dates. Uh-huh beforehand uh-huh. but like for example now i have them written down already mm-hmm. i just need to prepay for my artwork so i can just post it as it as it will be mm-hmm. but then that's also money is spent you yeah, know? yeah so but i'm like okay i need to get my dates right because then because there is so many little events or big events in the uh you know california area mm-hmm. you kind of got to pick your dates right right so the other thing that i did uh last week i text uh i dm'd uh What's his name? Low, low Rider Magazine? Not, not, uh, Riding Low? Oh, Jose. Jose. Yeah, yes, Marco. Jose. Mm-hmm. I was like, hey, man, can I send you my my little meetups? I don't yeah. know if it'll fit into the Oh, yeah. No, they're, the they, they, they do a great job of putting uh, they together. They do an amazing a, job. Yeah. So usually... It's, it's more... Let's let's be a little clearer. That's more Erica. <laughs> it's less Jose, and it's a lot of Erica. So it, it's all, all Erica. It's, you hear that, Erica? It's all you. <laughs> yeah. And thank you. I Jose, thank you for when you're listening to the Jose, when you're listening to this in three months in your car... Yeah. Uh, it's, yeah. It's, all <laughs> it's all Erica. And then, you know... Because usually I would wait for that to come out mm-hmm. and then pick my dates. Oh, I see. Except mm-hmm. for Doc Weiler. Doc Weiler would kind of stay there because nobody was really throwing anything In there. October, yeah. Um, but then I would pick my dates for uh, Neptune's Cruise and the end of the year meet. Uh, but now I'm like, let me, let me just pick them now. Yeah. And then I'm just going to send it to him. Yeah, yeah. If it makes it, it makes it. If it doesn't, you know. No, for uh, sure. But he's a super good, cool guy too. And, um, y- you know, I, I just like doing it. Yeah, well, yeah, man. You know, and I enjoy that people come out and like, oh, this is super cool. You know, mm-hmm. because, uh, again, it's it's creating that experience. But I also want to experience other events and other mm-hmm. shows that are elsewhere. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, so hopefully 2023, we we can go to uh, mini Nats. Yeah, man. And make that Dude, happen. We're ready. Well, we're going anyway. So, <laughs> yeah, so yeah. If you want to go. I'll, I'll fly out there and I'm just going to sleep in your trailer and <laughs> make it make it work. Oh, we got a floor. Don't worry. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, right on, man. Well, cool, dude. Thanks for sitting with us. It was really me. cool. It was really cool listening to like how, you know, like that, that I wanted to come in this conversation, just learn like you, like where you came from. Yeah. Because uh, yeah. the last couple of guests, like that's what we want to do is like, how'd you get here? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, so and, thank you for answering all that. And, and, and again, you know, like, I, I've had this conversation with, with mainly you, Frank, but I think that the, the way that you guys... Are just you, you kind of grab the audience when you do this, mm-hmm. uh, and the different guests that you have, it, you, you guys are just likable and likable to listen to. Oh, thanks, man. And you know, like I told you before, I was like, if I listen to you and and your voice isn't grabbing me, I'm like, I can't do it, and I gotta right. go. <laughs> but but I, I mean, being fair, I'm, I think I'm like two episodes behind. Oh, uh, okay, no, uh, <laughs> that's it. That's it. You, we, you, once, once you get caught up, we'll release this episode. Yeah, yeah. So, but 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 that's kind of what keeps keeps me there because it's like you guys are likable. Also, the fact that I I know you guys and 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 the experiences that you guys. Uh, put out on the podcast i was like it's so relatable right on whether you're a vendor whether you're a mini trucker whether you're whatever just trying to get to a show you guys are super relatable so it's super cool to be a part of it um thanks man that's awesome thank you i appreciate it appreciate that right on yeah well cool well you want to drop your socials and all that uh so it's mini truck 
underscore revival on Instagram, mini truck revival on Facebook. We have a TikTok, but I have done absolutely nothing. Oh, you got to get on TikTok. Blocked. <laughs> so eventually we'll get there. We yeah. have a YouTube channel. It's also mini truck revival. Don't judge my videos. Okay. Just go straight to YouTube shorts and skip the TikTok. Yeah, oh, there that, you go. that's what yeah. I've been hearing. That's what yeah. I've been, that, yeah. that's it's, where it's, it's going to be. Come, at. It's coming hard in 2023. Uh, uh, mini truck revival at uh, bigcartel.com for, for your shopping. Uh, there will be some major changes on, on our designs, our website, and, and how we do things. Uh, we have a mega sale going on right now uh, oh, cool. for oh, yeah, Cyber right, Week. Yeah. Uh, so everything's on sale. Make sure you check that out. And shout out to all my friends, everyone that I didn't mention. Um, you know, because I, I wouldn't be here with the support of everyone that comes out to to my events and 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 that allowed me to, to do this for them. Uh, so you know, shout out to everybody. That's awesome, sure. man. Yeah, that's cool. That kind of that kind of rings true with all of us, right? Yeah. Right. Oh, cool. Well, thanks for checking out this week's show. Uh, it was awesome having Victor on here. Uh, I want to give a quick thank you to Jason and Jaime and Georgia, who are very bored in the other room, <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> listening yeah, to. I, want, I would like to give a quick shout out to the. I'd like to give a quick shout out. Oh, the, 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 oh, that camera. Uh, <laughs> So I'd like to give a quick shout out to these rims behind yeah, here. Yeah, like you have oh, not yeah, yeah. seen so me background. or Victor the whole time. But yeah, yeah. every once in a while I see Victor's hat. <laughs> and so me, it's, rip, it's been it's like, <laughs> yeah. I, I move a lot. Uh, well, right on. Well, thanks for checking yeah. out this week's episode. Uh, go check out our websites, livelifecustom.com, grinder-tv.com, and mini uh, truck revival at Big Cartel, you said? At big, at big dot com. Com. Check yeah. out all those things and buy merch. Thank you. See you next week. Bye. Later.